Hallo? 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 Dear all, good afternoon. Welcome back to the national webinar series on local governments for sustainable development. Good practice of Kerala, jointly organized by the Haritha Kerala Mission, the Gulati Institute and Kila. First of all, let me wish all of you a happy Independence Day. This time we have a theme, non-biodegradable waste management and local governments. All of us know the importance of this non-biodegradable waste management, which has been difficult, but the problem is actually in increasing actually. Today we have seven presentations from seven local governments. Taliparamba municipality from Kannur, Vadagara municipality from Kodikot, Karlai Gram Panchayat from Malapuram district, Alakot Gram Panchayat from Idiki district, Aryad Gram Panchayat from Alapura district, Tumbaman Gram Panchayat from Patanandita district, and Kadakal Gram Panchayat from Kollam district. Let me welcome all the elected representatives and the officials who are involved in this and who are going to present their experiences today. Today's webinar will be inaugurated by Sri Mir Muhammad Ali, IAS, the Executive Director of the Sujitta Mission of Kerala. I welcome Sri Mir Muhammad Ali to this webinar series. Thank you. And uh, as panelists, the moderator is Dr. Ajay Kumar Verma, who was there last time also. And uh, he has with him Sri P.S. Sothi, the head of circular economy in UNDP. Ms. Swati Singh Sambhyal, the waste management specialist from UN Habitat, India. And Sri Keshavan Nair, the managing director of Clean Kerala Company. Welcome all of them to this webinar. And of course, all of you have been providing a lot of support to this webinar series. Welcome all of you to this program. We will also, we also have our principal secretary for local governments, uh, Srimadhi Sharda Murlidharan. Welcome, madam, to this program. And then we hope uh, uh, that uh, our finance minister, Dr. Thomas Isaac, will join us soon. So welcome all of you to this program. And uh, over to Dr. Seema, the executive vice chairperson of the Haritha Kerala Mission to moderate the Next session. Over to Dr. Seema. Thank you, Dr. Joy. Uh, we are starting the second episode of uh, uh, three continuous episodes on base management and the role of LSJs in Kerala. So today we are uh, handling with the non biodegradable waste. So uh, I'm not wasting much time. I would like to invite Sri Mir Muhammad Ali, IAS. Uh, who is the executive director of Sujita Mission to inaugurate the webinar and make the keynote address. Thank you so much, uh, ma'am, for the opportunity and invitation to uh, be part of this webinar. Uh, first of all, uh, let me uh, wish all of you, uh, all people listening, a very happy uh, Independence Day. So it's a great uh, day for us to talk about one of the biggest challenges uh, that is before us. So let us just quickly uh, start off since we're focusing on non-biodegradable uh, waste. I think all of us have seen enough uh, number of videos and, and uh, information on the harms that plastic and other non-biodegradable wastes are causing uh, to our environment thanks to our uh, own lifestyle. Uh, there are many different pictures of the way uh, plastics and other uh, non-biodegradables harm uh, the environment, but the one that has always stuck by me, uh, one of the, uh, I think the biggest warnings about uh, this 
unmitigated use unlimited use of uh, non biodegradable waste is the uh, studies that were conducted sometime in 2019 on the presence of uh, microplastics in uh, salt some number of studies have come out which uh, more or less show that we are uh, consuming around 5 grams worth of uh, uh, 5 grams worth of microplastic every week uh, in quantities that comes to uh, to visualize it that's uh, approximately the size of a credit card um, every week so basically it has come to a point where we have actually started eating uh, plastic so that's how serious the challenge is it is not about littering it is not about uh, making our uh, our streets look clean etc it has come to a point where we are consuming this um, particular uh, item of convenience uh, so the government of kerala has taken a, a bunch of steps uh in terms of handling non biodegradable waste i have no uh, doubt in saying that from a state level perspective uh the uh, kerala has probably gone the farthest in terms of uh, managing non biodegradable uh, waste uh, if you compare kerala with many other places you will find that there may be many cities which are held up as models but from a state level perspective covering rural and urban areas in terms of infrastructure that has been set up it's been uh, huge Uh, i was uh, i went to the field as a collector sometime in 2016 and from that point uh, 2016 uh, august november is when i had taken charge and 2016 december is when the hartha kerala mission was launched which was specific focus on uh, decentralized waste management and uh, and with specific focus on non biodegradable waste so what have we done over the past say from 2016 onwards under the hartha kerala mission which is the mission also working in we've been using we've been uh, integrating the swachh bharat mission funds also very nicely with our program so right now we have around 888 uh, material collection facilities which are completed we have 151 resource recovery facilities and we have 3500 hartha karma sena units that are currently functional uh, functioning um, all over the state uh the plastic waste management rules of uh, 2016 sort of uh, put the highlight on non biodegradable waste uh, several suggestions in the plastic waste management rules like the implementation of a user fee uh, the importance of having an epr policy uh, phasing out of plastic carry bags the banning of uh, uh, pvc uh, uh, pvc flex boards etc Uh, all of these things came with the plastic waste management rules in 2016 and kerala has really taken this up in letter and spirit uh, 2020 january kerala went ahead and put a very extensive ban on single use on single use plastics prior to the ban as almost for, as preparation for the ban we had a green protocol that was followed in all major government programs you very rarely you will find a government program in kerala where you find single use plastics either glasses or uh, uh, bottles etc uh, so this already started long back and then it was formalized uh, uh, sometime in january 1 2020 so what are the challenges uh, which uh, i see uh, going forward having worked for 3 years in the field and uh, now being part of the suchitwa mission which is a technical support agency uh, for the government now we have local governments which are actually spearheading this particular uh, the project of waste management uh, one weakness i would say which we need we all need to work on and which we all need to strengthen ourselves uh, is the uh, lack of institutionalization so for example uh, our systems could be called robust and uh, our systems would be uh, uh, looked at with as something that can be emulated when we have a sort of institutionalization across all local bodies which is obviously a difficult task to do it's not an easy thing we have 941 uh, gram panchayats and we have around 93 uh, urban local bodies so can we have like standardized systems across all of these things so many places everyone you will see it in today's presentation as well the different local bodies have found different solutions uh, to the um, uh, problem of waste management so that is one challenge um, that is there before us another major challenge i think which is a a social challenge that we have is to convince our people uh, to contribute towards waste management and not see it as a burden so uh, all grama panchayats and ulbs will agree that user fee collection as far as um, waste management is concerned uh, is on the lower side and uh, it's a chicken and egg situation because people say that we will pay if the services are very good at the same time if people pay the services can be very good so some some at some point we have to square that uh, we have to square that circle and uh, find an ideal equilibrium 
uh, in the future the government of kerala is tied up with the world bank uh, under the kerala state waste management project which is a huge 300 million dollar project which focuses on um, municipalities and uh, urban clusters so this particular project which is going to be of uh, which is which has a duration of 6 years is going to cover all the municipalities it will provide it will provide uh, expertise uh, it will provide uh, funding obviously over and above what is available with the municipalities it will provide a five year uh, institutional framework uh, for us to implement with obviously uh, a, a very high amount of uh, expertise into the system so what can other states uh, Uh, learn from kerala as far as uh, the waste management um, experience is concerned one is the decentralized system of waste management which does not focus on very large um, uh, on very large plants alone to solve our problems uh, second one is that uh, local enterprise has been encouraged the enterprise model of kudumbashree has been encouraged to be a part of this particular um, uh, system uh, another thing obviously is uh, one thing that can seriously be uh, emulated is our focus on green protocol and our focus on reduction of waste we have followed the reduce reuse recycle thing quite seriously so that is something which um, uh, can certainly be focused on but uh, at the same time like i just pointed out there are some uh, uh, areas where we need to work on but obviously this is a long journey the waste management is not a very simple uh, activity because it, it does there's a collection system there's the segregation there's the storage then there's the forward linkages then there's the funding there's the leadership so all these things come together so it's very society oriented program where you need all aspects of society all members of society all institutions in a society to sort of uh, click in and i'm very happy to say that we have started off very well and i think in the next few years the kerala will will provide proper end to end leadership as far as uh, waste management uh, is concerned so uh, that's all i have to share with you uh, at the moment i think my time is also up and i don't want to uh, uh, encroach into other people's time so thank you very much for inviting me and uh, allowing me to convey the keynote address thank you thank you uh, mr meer mohammed uh, we request you to stay with us uh, for the presentations also you can respond to the presentation after this uh, so um, before going for the presentation uh, from uh, local self government so i would like to uh, make a brief presentation on the state level uh, status i would request uh, shri miras to help me for the presentation we can go to the next year a uh, total quantity of dry waste generated in kerala per year 1026497 metric ton we can say that a uh, major portion is from paper and then uh, so plastics uh, sanitary waste e waste and uh, textile uh, and uh, domestic hazardous waste next next sheet uh now we are uh, going for the process of the existing process of non biodegradable waste management uh, followed by lsgs and clean kerala company collection of non biodegradable waste by haritha karma sena from source then transfer to gram panchayat or municipal ward level material collection facilities then segregation recyclable non recyclable at mcf transfer to block level or municipal level rrf resource recovery facilities then shredding of zero value plastic using shredding machines shredded plastic for polymerized road construction then baling of other plastic using baling machine and say to recyclers rejects for co processing and safe landfilling you can go to the next yeah this is status of material collection facilities municipalities hundreds are functional 86 are un under construction completed total 186 mcf municipal corporation 19 functional 22 construction completed total 41 gram panchayat 153 functional 409 construction completed 862 total so total 1572 mcfs are functional 517 construction completed total 1089 mcfs are ready for function or functioning so next this is status of rrf resource recovery facilities it is either in the block level or in the municipal so uh, total 150 rrfs are functioning at now in, in the state now so we'll go to next yeah 
so uh, six, uh, 60% of dry waste management system already established. Establishing new uh, network of recycling like, uh, clean by Clean Kerala company and UNDP special project is there for the plastic waste management. Rejects management system in pipeline by uh, Clean Kerala company, RDF MOU signed with ACC Siemens and landfill facilities construction process initiated. Next. Total dry waste collection, total quantity of dry waste collected per year, 6,47,130 metric ton. It's data from uh, Pollution Control Board. Quality of, quantity of dry waste collected through system established by LSGs per year, 3,88,278 metric ton. Quantity of dry waste collected through informal and private agencies, 2,58,852 metric ton. Next. So data on shredded plastic by LSDs, total quantity of plastic shredded from 17 to 2020, 1,337.24 metric ton. Total income from sales for shredded plastic, it's uh, for uh, LSDs is 2 crore, 25 lakh, 45,600 rupees. Next. Road constructed as on 31, 5, 2020 using this shredded plastic, 2023.34 kilometers. You can see in 2019-20, the highest uh, reach of uh, quantity of plastic use. Because uh, at that time, the majority of the RRF came in uh, function. Next, next. Total quantity of e-waste collected uh, from 2016 to now, 1,452.867 metric ton. In 2017-18, the largest, uh, highest collection because there was a campaign for collecting e-waste in all districts. Next, legacy waste collected. That is a very big problem for us, the legacy waste. But during flood waste, 18-19, 15,674.81 metric ton waste was collected and uh, it was handled by Clean Kerala company. Other campaigns, during other campaigns, uh, it, it is from 19 April to 20, 2020 March, uh, this data, 5,012 metric ton. And during COVID-19, this data is from 2020 April to till, till date, uh, pre-monsoon cleaning, 5,969.675 metric ton. So total uh, 26,656.485 metric ton legacy waste collected. Next. So we can say local self-governments are proactive in establishing system for non-biodegradable waste, col waste collection and trying to link with a circular economy approach. So uh, this is the state level data we, can, we need to present. And now we will go to the presentations from LSTs. First, Taliparambu Nagrasabha from Kannur district will uh, present their experience. I would uh, request or the chairman from of uh, Taliparambu Nagrasabha to make their presentation, please. I will try to move on Taliparambu Nagrasabha in the middle of the I will try to move on to Aditya Janigiya Marana Samadhi in the middle of the day. As a result of Taliparambu Nagrasabha, Abu Vigin Nettubuli Prashna Mahalya Samskaran Tanya. Aditya Bhagamai, the Taliparamba municipality is a thickly populated residential town having a total area of about 18.92 square kilometers and population of 44,247. It consists of 34 wards with 12,348 houses, 3,500 commercials, and 78 public institutions. Alipramile Maya Samskarna Mindu Parayla Adu Vindu Stavichu Devo Maya Nengalu Adevo Maya Nengalu Onnai Shagiru Chuvandu Tranjimiru Nishrebikke Adu Dari Urubadu Prachokam Dei Urubadu Samarangalu Mundavi Urubadu Gala Tranjimiru Nishrebikke Adu Pravakikka Adu Dari 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 When the present municipal council took charge in 2015 we decided to find a sustainable solution for this. 
800 tons of mixed waste was removed from the yard by spending rupees 16 lakhs 34903 when haridha kerala mission came into being and the guidelines for waste management was issued in 2017 we decided to set up facilities accordingly municipality renovated the building at the trenching grounds to be used as mcf by spending rupees 15 lakhs and installed a baling and shredding machine by spending rupees 4 lakhs and 5 lakhs respectively this unit as per the monthly rent agreement was handed over to the nirmal bharat charitable trust the trust associated with the municipality and kudumbasri selected a haridha karma sena group and started a survey using a mobile application named nellika which means gooseberry developed exclusively for the purpose Haridha Karma Sena started collecting dry waste from households and shops. Investment by Nirmal Bharat. Service expense 1.7 lakhs, vehicle to numbers 4 lakhs, bailing machine 5.3 lakhs, software for Nellika 12 lakhs, total 23 lakhs. A calendar for source segregation and collection was designed. In the initial stage, user fee of rupees 100 per month was charged. Now the user fee for households has been reduced to rupees 50 per month. As per the survey done by Haridha Karma Sena, the commercial establishments have been categorized as per type and volume of waste collected. Minimum tariff for commercial users is rupees 70 per visit. For two visits per month is rupees 100. Four visits per month is rupees 200. And for daily visit it is rupees 300. Nellika the mobile application is the backbone of this entire operation starting from survey dump waste volume forecast preparing analysis report for fixing the minimum first time fee for removing dump waste and fixing the regular user fee each haridha karma sena member will update their activity in nellika application daily by reading the qr code fixed on the house number board they will update attendance of the team volume of waste collected payment collected if not cooperating with the reason and whether the house is closed customer will receive a confirmation sms about the activity and receipt of payment collected during covid-19 lockdown on behalf of municipality nellika opened emergency help desk service emergency medicine supply food supply bakery and banking facility in the doorstep were provided through the nilika app telima students club formed in all schools across taliparamba municipality also collects and segregate school waste and hand over to the haridha karma sena also this club is used to, to provide awareness to the students and also to the parents not only about the waste related awareness also activities like swap shops and vegetable farming municipality used to conduct inspections to find usage of banned plastics burning of waste dumping in public places and legal actions along with fine would be charged all together rupees of 4 lakhs 25000 has been collected as fine in disregard to reduce waste generation regular swap shop is conducted every month second wednesday at the municipal town square green protocol is implemented in all functions across municipality to support such functions haridha karma sena has been provided with reusable plates and glass green protocol certificate from haridha karma sena has been made mandatory for registration of marriages total income from user fee and sales of materials collected is rupees 89 lakhs and 45000 total expenditure to run the project is rupees 80 lakh 91800 our haridha karma sena is not a waste picking staff because of variety of service they provide to the public and the software tool they use they are self motivated and are working with dignity they are constantly trying to build a close friendly relation with the public Nellika is designed in such a way that it can be used by any local self government department for operation control of Haridha Karma Sena. By looking into our performance, 
അതർ എൽ എസ് ഡി ഡി അറൗണ്ട് തളിപ്പറമ്പ ഇൻവൈറ്റഡ് ആസ് ടു അണ്ടർ ടേക്ക് ദർ ഏരിയ ഓപ്പറേഷൻസ് ആസ് എ റിസൾട്ട് വി സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് ഓപ്പറേറ്റിംഗ് ഫ്രം വളപട്ടണം പഞ്ചായത്ത് ആൻഡ് കണ്ണൂർ കോർപ്പറേഷൻ ആൻഡ് വിൽ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഷോർട്ട്ലി ഇൻ ചിറക്കൽ ആൻഡ് അഴിക്കോട്ട് പഞ്ചായത്ത് ഓൾസോ വലിയ സന്തോഷകരമായ കാര്യമാണ് നേരത്തെ ലക്ഷക്കണക്കിന് രൂപ ചെലവിത് കൊണ്ട് നടത്തിയിരുന്ന മാലിന്യ നിസ്കരണം യാതൊരു ബാധ്യതയും ഇല്ലാതെ വളരെ നന്നായി നടന്നു വരികയാണ് വടകര നഗരസഭ നിലവിലുള്ള കൗൺസിൽ അധികാരമേൽക്കുന്നതിന് മുമ്പ് വളരെ രൂക്ഷമായ മാലിന്യ പ്രശ്നം കൊണ്ട് പൊറുതി മുട്ടിയ ഒരു നഗരമായിരുന്നു നഗരത്തിലെ ജൈവ അജൈവ മാലിന്യങ്ങൾ തരം തിരിക്കാതെ ശേഖരിച്ച് സമാഹരിച്ച് നഗരസത്തിൻ്റെ ഒരു അതിർത്തിയിലുള്ള പ്രദേശത്ത് നിക്ഷേപിച്ച് ട്രെൻഡിങ് റൗണ്ടായി മാറ്റിയ നിലയാണ് ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നത് അതിൻ്റെ ഭാഗമായി ആ പ്രദേശത്തെ ജനങ്ങളുടെ വലിയ ആക്ഷേപങ്ങളും പ്രക്ഷോഭങ്ങളും ഒക്കെ ഉയർന്നു വരികയും ഈ ഘട്ടത്തിലാണ് ഈ നഗരസഭ രണ്ടായിരത്തി പതിനാറിൽ അധികാരത്തിൽ വരുന്നത് ട്രെൻഡിങ് ഗ്രൗണ്ടിലുള്ള കുന്നായി കിടക്കുന്ന മാലിന്യങ്ങൾ ലാൻഡ് പിൻഡിങ്ങിലൂടെ പുതുക്കാൻ നഗരത്തിലെ അജൈവ മാലിന്യം വടകര മുനിസിപ്പാലിറ്റി ലൊക്കേറ്റഡ് ടുവേഴ്സ് ദ നോർദേൺ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് കോഴിക്കോട് ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട് ഇസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദി ഓൾഡസ്റ്റ് മുനിസിപ്പാലിറ്റീസ് വിത്ത് എ പോപ്പുലേഷൻ ഓഫ് സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് തൗസൻഡ് ടു ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് നയൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് നമ്പേഴ്സ് വിത്ത് ഫോർട്ടി സെവൻ വാർഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഹാവിങ് എയ്റ്റീൻ തൗസൻഡ് ഹൗസ് ഹോൾഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് സെവൻ തൗസൻഡ് ഷോപ്സ് ആൻഡ് അതർ എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്മെൻസ് ആരംഭിക്കാൻ ഞങ്ങൾ തീരുമാനിച്ചു അത് നഗരസഭയുടെ കൈവശമുള്ള ഒൻപതാം വാർഡിലെ ഒരു ഷെഡിൽ ഈ ശ്രമം ആരംഭിച്ചപ്പം അവിടെ വലിയ പ്രക്ഷോഭങ്ങൾ വന്നതിൻ്റെ ഭാഗമായി അത് മുന്നോട്ട് കൊണ്ടുപോകാൻ കഴിയാത്ത നില വന്നു പിന്നീട് നഗരത്തിൻ്റെ ഹൃദയ ഭാഗത്ത് തന്നെ പുതിയ ബസ് സ്റ്റാൻഡ് പരിസരത്ത് ജന ബാഹുല്യമുള്ള പ്രദേശത്ത് തന്നെ നഗരസഭ നിർമ്മിച്ചിട്ടുള്ള മറ്റൊരു കെട്ടിടത്തിലേക്ക് എം ആർ എഫിൻ്റെ പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങൾ ഞങ്ങൾ ആരംഭിക്കാൻ തീരുമാനിച്ചു ഈ ഹരിതകർമ്മ സേന അംഗങ്ങൾ വടകര നഗരത്തിലെ നാൽപ്പത്തിയേഴ് വാർഡുകളിലുള്ള പതിനെട്ടായിരത്തോളം വീടുകൾ കയറി ഓരോ മാസവും ഓരോ തരം മാലിന്യങ്ങൾ സമാഹരിക്കുകയും അത് എം ആർ എഫിൽ എത്തിച്ച് വീണ്ടും സെഗ്രഗേറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് വിവിധ ആവശ്യങ്ങൾക്ക് റീസൈക്കിളിന് വേണ്ടിയും ലാൻഡ് ഫില്ലിങ്ങിന് വേണ്ടിയും ഒക്കെ ഉപയോഗിക്കാൻ ആവശ്യമായ തരത്തിലുള്ള പ്രവർത്തനമാണ് നടത്തിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് to bring about a behavioral change of people in waste management and building sustainable system thereof wadagara stands as a model for other local bodies to emulate and their haridha karma sena offers their expertise to other local bodies by way of being elevated to the status of a haridha sahaya sthabanam under haridha kerala mission It was during 2017 July that the municipality launched a comprehensive waste management action plan named Clean City Green City Zero Waste Vadakara. It was decided to form a well-trained Haridha Karma Sena for which interview and physical endurance test was conducted from among members nominated at 5 numbers per ward and finally selected 63 numbers to form the HKS which was registered as per charitable societies act who now forms the backbone of the waste management system of the municipality the enterprise now runs successfully as a business model with production of green products like cloth bags school bags sale of recyclables rent shop etc apart from the main activity of waste collection charging user fee segregation of sale of non biodegradables which helps to earn 
an average of rupees 10,000 per month. For these, 63 HKS members who are generally from the low income strata of the society. It is estimated that 9.76 tons of non biodegradable dry waste is generated per day, of which 8.54 tons is collected by the HKS, charging a user fee of rupees 50 per household and rupees 100 for shops and establishments and additional charges for the extra quantity of waste other than the stipulated quantity. The collection is done on a calendar cycle. First month, plastic carry bags. Second month, paper. Third month, grass and glass bottles. Fourth month, e-waste. Fifth month, used clothes. Sixth month, used footwears, bags, rexin, etc. A committee has been formed for a cluster of 50 households to monitor the collection of dry waste. A well-planned system and facilities are in place for the collection and management of waste, which include Haridha Karma Sena, MCF, Mini MCFs, RRF with bailing and shredding machines, and a cluster level supporting system. The non biodegradable materials are segregated at the MCF and RRF by the trained HKS members to almost 32 items like plastics, plastic bottles, waste paper, old books, used old clothes, e waste, rexin, etc. Haridha Karma Sena could earn an income of Rupees 18 lakh and 52 till date from January 2018 through the sale of segregated items. They are sold in whiting quotation and the rejected ways are handed over for scientific disposal. This is done by tie up with agencies like Natural God, Green Worms, Clean Kerala Company. 5,666 kilograms of shredded plastics worth rupees 1,1988 has been sold at rupees 18 per kilogram for other local bodies and four roads of the municipality has been tarred using shredded plastics. Hariyali Haridha Parma Sena has diversified their activities into subsidiary income generating activities too, a green shop, repair shop, swap shop, and rent shop are formed under the Haridha Karma Sena. Haridha Karma Sena provides such items like plates, glass, and other utensils required for functions like marriages and thereby reduce the use of disposables and generation of considerable quantity of waste after each of such social functions. Five members of the Haridha Karma Sena operates the unit. Haridha Karma Sena also possess a boat operated by the women members itself to fish out the floating waste from important water bodies of the municipality. Green Technology Center consists of a water clinic to promote rainwater harvesting, well recharging, water quality testing, an agri-clinic for rending out agricultural implements and to function as a farm advisory center, energy clinic to promote energy efficient equipment, environment friendly gadgets, promotion of solar energy, conducting energy audit, etc. also are functioning under the Haridha Karma Sena. Haridha Karma Sena has an average monthly income of Rs. 7,20,000, of which Rs. 6 lakhs, that is 83% is from user fee collection. The average monthly expenditure is Rs. 7,16,883. The overall turnover of Haridha Karma Sena till date is Rs. 1 crore 76 lakhs the income from the sale of segregated items till date is rupees 18 lakh and 52 that from the sale of alternate products from green shop is 8 lakhs 
and the income from the rent shop is 2,66,000. Wadakara municipality has adopted stringent legal measures against law violators relating to waste management and polluting of water bodies. The fine imposed through legal measures in 2017-18 comes to 10 lakhs 54000 ഇത്തരം പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളൊക്കെ നടക്കുന്നതിന്റെ ഭാഗമായി ഒഡീഷ സർക്കാരിന്റെ ദേശീയ പുരസ്കാരം കേരള സംസ്ഥാന മുഖ്യമന്ത്രിയുടെ ഹരിത കേരള അവാർഡ് ഉൾപ്പെടെ 10 അവാർഡുകൾ ഈ കാലയളവിൽ വടകര നഗരസഭക്ക് ലഭ്യമാക്കാൻ കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇങ്ങനെയൊക്കെയുള്ള പ്രവർത്തനത്തിന്റെ ഭാഗമായി കേരളത്തിലെ ആദ്യത്തെ മാലിന്യമുക്ത നഗരമായി വടകരയെ മാറ്റി തീർക്കാൻ ഈ പ്രവർത്തനം ശാശ്വതമായി ഈ കൗൺസിലിന്റെ കാലാവധി കഴിഞ്ഞാലും വരുന്ന എല്ലാ കൗൺസിലും കൗൺസിലുകൾക്കും വിജയകരമായി തന്നെ മുന്നോട്ട് കൊണ്ടുപോകാൻ ആവശ്യമായ ഉറപ്പും ഈ കൗൺസിലിന്റെ കാലത്ത് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഉണ്ടാക്കിയെടുക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് from municipalities we are going to gram panchayat uh, our next presentation is from karulai gram panchayat malappuram district i uh, request uh, president of karulai gram panchayat to make the presentation kandayati 17 aanu karulai gram panchayat ee ajaiva malya samskarana പദ്ധതി ആരംഭിക്കുന്നത് അന്ന് ആരംഭിച്ചപ്പോൾ വ്യക്തമായിട്ട് നമുക്ക് എങ്ങനെ മുന്നോട്ട് കൊണ്ടുപോകണം എന്ന് ഈ പദ്ധതിയെ സംബന്ധിച്ച് അവർക്ക് അറിവില്ലായിരുന്നു അതിന് ശേഷമാണ് സംസ്ഥാന സർക്കാർ എല്ലാ പഞ്ചായത്തുകളും ഹരിത കർമ്മസേന രൂപീകരിച്ചു കൊണ്ട് ഈ അജൈവ മാലിന്യം ശേഖരിക്കണം എന്നുള്ള വ്യക്തമായ ഉത്തരവ് കിടക്കുകയും ആ ഉത്തരവിന്റെ അടിസ്ഥാനത്തിൽ ഹരിത കർമ്മസേന പതിനാലംഗങ്ങൾ ടീം രൂപീകരിക്കുകയും അവരുടെ നേതൃത്വത്തിൽ വളരെ നല്ല രീതിയിൽ എല്ലാ വീടുകളിൽ നിന്നും അജൈവ മാലിന്യങ്ങൾ ശേഖരിക്കുകയും നമ്മുടെ ആദ്യഘട്ടത്തിൽ എം സി എഫ് സെന്ററായി ആരംഭിക്കുകയും അതിൽ നിന്ന് തരംതിരിച്ച് കിട്ടുന്ന പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് വിൽക്കുകയും അതോടൊപ്പം തന്നെ മറ്റു സിമെന്റ് കമ്പനികളിലേക്ക് കയറ്റിയേക്കുകയാണ് ചെയ്തത് in the nilambur block of nilambur taluk malappuram district in kerala it covers an area of 131.31 square kilometers and is spread over the villages of karulai and amarambalam the panchayat comprises of 15 wards and has 6250 houses 260 shops and 15 institutions The Karulai region has a centuries old cultural heritage including a large reserve forest that lies beneath the Nilgiri hills what Karulai has to tell is a success story of converting the problem of non biodegradable waste into an opportunity for making money waste management was a major challenge in the gram panchayat as the practice of dumping of dry waste was a habit among the people rivers and streams were filled with plastic waste soil and water often began to deteriorate due to this dumping waste has made the street dog menace rampant and water from sewage dumps began to flow into drinking water sources causing water borne diseases to spread however In 2017 the panchayat started taking strong measures against this and started turning the waste into cash through the clean karulai project as a result people began to dispose of the bio waste either at source or at treatment plants people realized that there was no such thing as waste when the waste was turned into useful organic manure through composting when plastic waste became a villain the panchayat put forth an idea of haridha karma sena to eradicate it dry waste including plastic waste from houses 
shops and other establishments is collected by the Haridha Karma Sena and sent to the MCF owned by the Panchayat. The waste items are sorted and segregated to 32 items and sold separately. An agreement has been entered into with a clean Kerala company to collect shredded plastic which is used in road construction. The recyclable items are given to private companies and sent for recycling. 80% of the people in the Panchayat now hand over the non-biodegradable waste materials to the Haridha Karma Sena at regular intervals. Haridha Karma Sena, a small enterprise group, collects the dry waste from various wards of the Panchayat once in two months and is taken to the MCF land of the Panchayat. The waste is sorted into e-waste, paper waste, glass waste, bottles and plastic. The plastic is further segregated into PET, HDPE, plain and colored, PVC, LDPE, print and plain, and PP, print and plain, and the like. Altogether, the dry waste is segregated into 32 types here. Rejects and scraps are sold at the rate of rupees 8 per kilogram to the recycling companies, which are selected through competitive bidding process. The glass scraps are supplied to a private company at the rate of 80 paise per kilogram. In addition, shredded plastic is given at a rate of rupees 15 per kilogram to clean Kerala company for road tarring. The sorted papers are given to New Sprint Factory in Palakkad at current market price. In addition, Haridha Karma Sena is making good money by renting out 2,000 plates and glasses provided by the Panchayat to spread the green protocol practice in the Panchayat area. At first, the cooperation of the people was very low. But every year, more than 1,000 households join the scheme afresh. At present, waste is collected from 4,500 households. 80% of the people are members of this project and play a major role in protecting the environment. When the scheme was launched in 2017, the total user fee received during the eight months till March 2018 was Rs. 1,8580. The Gram Panchayat then gave Rs. 2,89,111 as viability gap fund. The total revenue in 2018 was Rs. 12,35,488. But the expenditure was Rs. 15,73,950. Then an amount of Rs. 3,38,462 was given by the Panchayat as VGF. In the financial year 2019-2020, the total revenue was Rs. 11,90,158 and the expenditure was Rs. 14,40,158. In the four months of the financial year 2020-21, the total revenue is Rs. 2,77,805. And now the expenditure is also streamlined in tune with the income. It is expected that a break-even could be achieved at the end of this year. Enforcement attempts were initially made as a deterrent to those who were engaged continuously in dumping plastic in public places. But when some people continued dumping waste without minding it, Legal actions were resorted to. This year alone, a fine of Rs 43,000 has been imposed in connection with the throwing or burning of plastic in public places. In addition to the non-biodegradable waste, nearly 60 tons of organic waste is also formed per month in houses, shops and establishments. Through the 3,500 pit composts, 
15 plastic bins and 110 organic bin compost issued by the panchayat. This waste is converted into compost and made it suitable for agriculture. About 90% of the waste is treated at source using the above composting facilities. Efforts to reduce the dry waste and awareness programs are going on. 5,000 cloth bags have been distributed to households. The messages are spread through Brahma Sabhas and Kudumbasri neighborhood meetings. Meetings of traders and industrialists, political party representatives, and heads of institutions are being convened to emphasize the importance of proper waste management practices. Environmental conservation speeches and poems are regularly put on loudspeakers in the waste collection vehicle to make people aware of the issue. The experience of Kerulai proves that, with proper planning and support from the local body, the issue of all types of waste can be solved. Since the system has now become self-reliant, the sustainability is also ensured. Thank you, President, for the presentation. Now we are going to Idiki district. Uh, I, I request uh, President Alakod Grama Panchayat, Idiki district, to make the presentation. I am is an agriculture based Grama Panchayat. About 100 years of migration history, we gave prime importance to manage non degradable waste. Alakod Grama Panchayat is a small agricultural village in Iduki district with a total area of 22.54 square kilometers which includes 1.214 square kilometers of catchment area and 2.023 square kilometers of plantation area. Majority of our farmers are experts in organic farming methods. Alakot Panchayat do not have any major townships and markets. Realizing that the lack of proper guidance and facilities for the segregated collection of solid waste was a real problem, we decided to start with the segregation at household level. Devices like ring compost, compost pit, pipe compost, kitchen bin, biogas plant, and community composting facilities were distributed to 2,650 households for managing the biodegradable waste. Next hurricane task for us was how to handle the non-biodegradable waste. The timely intervention of Haridha Kerala mission helped us to formulate a systematic way to address this issue. We adopted a decentralized MCF system with MCFs at three places instead of making one big MCF at the center of the town. In addition to this, arrangements like bottle booths and dustbins also have been placed at different places in the panchayat, which are strictly monitored to avoid dumping of unsegregated, wet and unclean plastic materials. We also make it sure that MCF and its surroundings are kept neat and clean. Dry waste is collected by charging a user fee of rupees 30 from households and rupees 50 from institutions and shops. RRF linkage of our panchayat is with Elam Desham Block Panchayat, RRF, at Mulapuram. The scrap materials consist of bottles and recyclable plastics. 1,200 kg was collected and handed over to scrap dealers. Rupees 15,600 has been the profit from the sale of these scrap items. We have made an agreement with the scrap dealers to sell the recyclable materials collected by Haridha Karma Sena and the non-recyclable materials like shoes, bags, leather products. Indubeda Roaches, Nyan Sunday Roaches Trading and Contracting in Varnia Raja, Sadeka Mirana Scarf Dealer Anna, Alakota Panjaito Ida Inike, 
നിലവിൽ ഒരു എഗ്രിമെൻ്റ് ഉണ്ട് ആലക്കോട് പഞ്ചായത്ത് വീടുകളിൽ നിന്ന് കളക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്ന പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് ഐറ്റംസ് ചില്ല ഐറ്റംസ് എല്ലാം ഞാൻ ശേഖരിച്ച് എനിക്ക് ഇവിടെ കൊണ്ടുതരുന്നുണ്ട് for handing over to clean kerala company 8418 kg of non recyclable plastic were transported to rrf and shredded 8 km of road has been charred from shredded plastic and they by panchayat had a saving of rupees 15000 the gram panchayat has designed and implemented a calendar for collection by haridha karma sena plastics and bottles collection of interval every month medicine strips cosmetic waste tubes two month e waste glass tube lights six month leather bags chapels one year the haridha karma sena of our panchayat is comprised of 26 members kudumbasri sujithwa mission the health department and haridha kerala mission have been imparting training to them to acquire comprehensive knowledge and skills in waste management along with this panchayat takes initiative to conduct awareness programs for the families and for students in the panchayat regarding waste management njangal ella kudumbangaldeyum malinya samskaranamayi bandhapetta data gal collect cheyyum haridha dharma senayumayi ella pravartanathile adu upayogikkeyum cheyyunu while analyzing the activity data of haridha karma sena for the last one year which is from june 2019 to july 2020 we can clearly understand the positive response of people to this system the collection of dry waste from households and institutions show a steady growth and has now covered 80 percentage corresponding progress can be seen in the user fee collection as well This attests to the fact that the people's response has been positive to this system. To ensure payment of user fee, we have made user fee certificate mandatory for various services from panchayat with a proper waste management system in place. The success of the Haridha Karma Sena and dry waste management in Alukod lies in two major facts. First, the array of support measures the panchayat provides by way of viability gap fund office and furniture vehicle subsidy and other support items and the like second the haridha karma sena could overcome the income deficit from the use of fee through a bunch of business initiatives with the support of the panchayat ആറ് പേരിറങ്ങുന്ന ഒരു സംരംഭ യൂണിറ്റ് ആയിട്ടാണ് ഈ ഹരിത ക്ലോത്ത് ബാഗ് ഞങ്ങൾ തുടങ്ങിയത് ചെറിയതായിട്ടൊരു വരുമാന മാർഗമായിട്ട് ഞങ്ങൾ ഇതിനെ കാണുന്നു ശരാശരി ഒരു പത്തിരുന്നൂറ് രൂപ വീതം ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇതിൽ നിന്നും എടുക്കാൻ പറ്റും ഈ തൊഴിലുറപ്പിൻ്റെ ഭവന്ത നിർമ്മിക്കുന്നതും സ്ഥാപിക്കുന്നത് ഈ യൂണിറ്റാണ് ഇത് ഞങ്ങളുടെ വരുമാന മാർഗമാണ് ഓഫീസുകളുടെ ഫങ്ഷനുകൾ അതായത് വിവാഹം അങ്ങനെയുള്ള ഓരോ ആഘോഷങ്ങൾക്കും ഗ്രീൻ പ്രോട്ടോകോൾ പാലിക്കുന്നതിന്റെ ഭാഗമായിട്ട് നമ്മൾ ആയിരം പ്ലേറ്റും ആയിരം ഗ്ലാസും സി ഡി എസിൽ എടുത്ത് മിതമായ വാടകയ്ക്ക് ആൾക്കാർക്ക് ലഭ്യമാക്കി കൊടുക്കുന്നു അതുകൊണ്ട് പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക്കിന്റെയും ഇതുകൂട്ട് മറ്റുള്ള ഇതിന്റെ ഉപയോഗം ഒരു പരിധി വരെ കുറയുന്നുണ്ട് ദ സസ്റ്റൈനബിലിറ്റി ഫാക്ടർ മേ ബി ദ യുണീക് ഫീച്ചർ വർത്ത് എമുലേറ്റിംഗ് ബൈ അതർ ലോക്കൽ ബോഡീസ് ടു Alakod Gram Panchayat regained its natural beauty with organically cultivated paddy fields, garbage-free rivers, streams and streets, clean air and good quality drinking water. Health and Kerala interventions help the Panchayat to implement the comprehensive waste management program. Thank you, President, for the presentation. Now we will go to Alapura District, Aryad Panchayat. I request President Aryad Grama Panchayat to make the presentation. Aryad Grama Panchayat, in the 2017-2018 years, we have a new plastic smart area in the 2017-2018 years. We have a new plastic smart area in the 2017-2018 years. 
അത് കൃഷിക്കും മാലിന്യ സംസ്കരണത്തിനുമാണ് ആ പദ്ധതിക്ക് ഊന്നൽ നൽകിയിട്ടുള്ളത് മാലിന്യ അജൈവ മാലിന്യ സംസ്കരണത്തിന് വേണ്ടി പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് അടക്കമുള്ള വേസ്റ്റുകൾ കളക്ട് ചെയ്യുകയും അത് നൂതന സാങ്കേതിക വിദ്യയുടെ സഹായത്തോടു കൂടി സംസ്കരിക്കുകയുമാണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ആര്യാട്ട് ഗ്രാമ പഞ്ചായത്ത് ഇൻ ആലപ്പുഴ ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട് ഹാവിംഗ് സിക്സ് പോയിന്റ് എയ്റ്റ് സെവൻ സ്ക്വയർ കിലോമീറ്റേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ഏരിയ ആൻഡ് എ പോപ്പുലേഷൻ ഓഫ് തേർട്ടി സിക്സ് തൗസൻഡ് സെവൻ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് സെവൻ ഇസ് സ്പ്രെഡ് അക്രോസ് എയ്റ്റീൻ വേർഡ്സ് വിത്ത് നയൻ തൗസൻഡ് ഫൈവ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് എയ്റ്റി ഫൈവ് ഹൗസ് ഹോൾഡ്സ് ദി ജിയോഗ്രഫിക്കൽ ബൗണ്ടറീസ് ഓഫ് ദ പഞ്ചായത്ത് ഐ ഈക്വലി ഡൈവേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് കോംപ്ലെക്സ് വിത്ത് അറേബ്യൻ സി ഓൺ ദ വെസ്റ്റ് and vein banada lake on the east and plenty of canal and various small water sources adiyat grama panchayat is situated close to the center of alipura with national and state highways passing through the area hence adiyat inclines more to the urban culture and patterns the panchayat began its waste management initiative by a sujitwa hartal observation in 2017 it was understood from the various surveys conducted that around 282 kg dry waste is generated daily in the panchayat of which 210 kg is from households 59 kg is from commercial establishments and others and 13 kg is from hotels and markets Plastic Smart Adiyad is a unique initiative which makes Adiyad stand out amongst the rest. This initiative aims at recycling of low micron plastics and target those plastics which are usually burnt and littered. Using scientific approach, these plastics are recycled for road construction and other value added products. For effective coordination and collection of plastic waste by Haridha Karma Sena members a mobile app plastic smart adiyad was developed by four engineering students the mobile app developed is user friendly and could be a model for others using the android mobile phone provided by the panchayat haridha karma sena members scan the qr code placed in the collection bin whereby the name of the households and identity of the Haridha Karma Sena members will be captured in the computer. The system analyzes the data and provides information on the locations where waste is generated in excess and this helps to focus the attention in those locations. A feedback mechanism to households and panchayat is enabled through SMS or phone in application. In addition to it, a waste management monitoring mapping helps in effective monitoring of the operations. The applications have three signals which helps in this. A red signal will provide details of the households which were not visited by Haridha Karma Sena in the month. Yellow signal gives information of the households which were visited only once in the month and green signal gives details of the households which were visited twice a month. This is an exceptional and pioneering usage of digital to monitor waste management by a panchayat. During the period of January 2018 to May 2020, a total income of Rs. 43 lakh 26300 was received this non bio waste is collected by 39 haridha karma sena members and stored in the material collection facility to avoid the storage space constraints there are two mini mcfs each in all the 18 wards the cost of mcf construction was around rupees 5 lakhs and it is where the plastic waste is segregated into HD LD and PP plastic shredding and baling unit is also set up there the shredded plastic is being utilized for the road tarring within the panchayat and various parts of the district with the help of PWD and clean kerala company at present around 7.51 kilometers of road tarring is done 
with a plastic shredded from Adyad Grama Panchayat. The Panchayat has received Rs. 4 lakh 75,229 as income from the sale of shredded and baled plastics. Haridha Karma Sena members collect plastic waste fortnightly right from the doorstep of the households. A monthly user fee of Rs. 30 and Rs. 100 are collected from individual households and commercial establishments respectively. Billing machines are used for collecting user fees. Currently, user fees are collected from 80% of the households and commercial establishments. For availing various services from Panjayat, individual households must produce the receipt of the user fee payment and this has helped to collect monthly user fees. Panjayat and associated institutions adopted green protocol for displaying a model, for encouraging the community members to adopting these practices. All meetings held by the Panjayat, including Grama Sabhas, follow green protocol. With the financial support of Rs. 5,19,588 from Block Panjayat, 5,000 steel plates and 5,000 ceramic plates were provided on a nominal rent for small and big functions held in the Panchayat. As an alternate to plastic bags, two cloth bag units were started by the Kudumbasri members for providing cloth bag for the community members. Under the leadership of Haridha Karma Sena members and Kudumbasri members, household level awareness programs were conducted for reducing and monitoring of the usage of plastics. Also, a ward level monitoring committee conducts monthly review of the activities. Amrei padadide angigara mana nelele karanya varsham bhuman pata bhukhi mandirede harida ward alapur jille lariyada grama panchayat le bikiye ndai. Panchayat has allotted the price money it has received for the agriculture sector projects, including pump sets. This laudable Adyad model, smart plastic waste management may be replicated for sustainable waste management across the state. Thank you, President, for the presentation. Now we are going to Patanandita district, uh, Tumbaman Panchayat, Patanandita district. Uh, I request uh, President Tumbaman Gram Panchayat to make the presentation. We are happy to join this national webinar. In 2017, the Haridharma Sena started functioning with 26 members, comprising of 13 wards with two members in each ward. The Haridharma Sena was formed to carry out field activities related to waste management in Tumbaman Grama Panjayat. Tumbaman is a relatively small Grama Panchayat, having an area of 7.81 kilometers which is situated in Panthalam block of Patanam Thitta district and has a population of 8,160 members in 13 wards. Like any other local body, Tumpaman also faced grave issues related to plastics and other non-biodegradable waste materials. When Haritha Kerlam mission came into being in 2016, a guideline for scientific decentralized waste management was issued in 2017. We decided to make use of it properly to solve the issue of non-biodegradable waste. A 26-member Haridha Karma Sena, Haridha Sahaya Stabinam, mini MCF having storage capacity of 7 tons, main MCF having storage capacity of 200 tons, etc. were planned and implemented according to the guidelines. Agreement between Clean Kerala Company, Panthalam Block Panchayat and Tumbaman Grama Panchayat was executed to ensure the forward language of non-biodegradable materials. Movement of waste materials from MCFs to the RRF at Arinmula was also ensured 
so that the MCFs would never get congested. The Haridha Karma Sena members were given training on segregation of waste materials with the help of Haridha Kerala Mission, Sujithwa Mission, Kunumasri and Clean Kerala Company. The plastic materials are segregated into plastic carry bags, multi-layer plastics, milk covers, pet bottles and buckets etc. Paper is segregated into cardboard, baseboard, magazine, books and waste paper etc. E-waste is segregated as hazardous and non-hazardous waste. The members of Haridha Karma Sena collect dry waste on the first to fourth day of every month from every household. A primary segregation is being done in the household level itself. This dry waste is transported to material collection facility center using Panchayat vehicle. In the next four days, micro-level segregation is done at the material collection facility. Dry waste other than hazardous waste is stored at material collection facility and hazardous waste such as tubes, CFL lamps, batteries, etc. is stored at mini material collection facility center situated nearby the material collection facility center. The Panchayat has invested 4,1324 rupees for the construction of MCF and mini MCF. The dry waste stored in MCF is transferred to the RRF by the Clean Kerala company, from where the recyclables are baled and handed over to recyclers. The remaining plastics are shredded and handed over to PWD for tarring of roads and the rejects are handed over to Kerala Enviro Infrastructure Limited for scientific land filling. Thus, the total non-biodegradable waste is scientifically managed. On receiving the segregated dry waste, Clean Kerala Company pays according to the market rate of it. This amount is utilized for giving wage to the Haridha Karma Sena members. Hazardous waste and non-recyclable waste are taken by the Clean Kerala company, for which the Panchayat pays rupees 40 and rupees 10 per kilogram, respectively, as per the government order. Plastic waste is collected according to the fixed calendar. Initially, the amount of plastic collected was around 1.298 ton per month. Through the awareness programs, the quantity of plastic waste has been gradually reduced. Any issues regarding the functioning of Haridha Karma Sena will be discussed as special agenda in Panchayat Committee and meeting of Haridha Karma Sena is held in every month in association with Haridha Kerala Mission, Sujitwa Mission, Haridha Sahaya Stabinam and Clean Kerala Company officials. The Gram Panchayat has fixed the user fee for Haridha Karma Sena as rupees 60 per month from all households and shops. Houses having plinth area less than 100 square feet is exempted from user fee and the amount is compensated by the Gram Panchayat. Each shop has to pay an amount of rupees 720 as user fee every year and it is collected along with the license fees. Now the use of fee for Haridha Karma Sena comes around 6,1497 and they get a monthly average of rupees 4,000 per member for eight days of their work in a month. Initially, the use of fee collection didn't meet the expectation. Special Sujitwa Gram Sabha, ADS General Body, distribution of pamphlets among public helped to increase the user fee collection. This awareness reflected not only in collection of user fee, but also in reducing the burning of plastic in public places and households and throwing of dry waste into water bodies. The Gram Panchayat allocated Rs 29,008 in the financial year 2018-19 
and rupees 1,29,978 in the financial year 2019-20 as viability gap fund from the plan fund for Haridha Karma Sena. Apart from this, Panjait spends for transportation, consultation charge of Haridha Sahaya Stabinam, disposable of waste having negative value and for uniform and ID card of Haridha Karma Sena. Certificate from Haridha Karma Sena saying that the non-biodegradables are properly handed over has been made mandatory for services from the Grama Panjait office. The income of Haridha Karma Sena is mainly consists of the user fee, the amount obtained by selling of dry waste and the VGF. The flood in 2018 had hit massively in Tumbaman Grama Panchayat also. A huge quantity of plastic and other dry waste were accumulated in the shores of all streams in all wards. More than 3,000 kilograms of dry waste accumulated in 13 wards. Houses and public places were collected, washed, cleaned, stored in the material collection facility and disposed of. Haridha Karma Sena received 19,000 rupees from the sale of this. After this flood, Haridha Karma Sena utilized this amount for cultivating five acres of fallow land by clearing the plastic and other waste in Mavira paddy field and produced five tons of paddy, which earned an income of 1,2,000. In the wake of COVID-19, Haridha Karma Sena were given a special training from health department. In following COVID health protocol, while collecting dry waste from households, immunizations and safety equipment like masks, gloves, sprayers and sanitizers. The Grama Panchayat has spent rupees 16,120 towards this. COVID during the period of COVID-19, various projects have been planned to set up soft shops that deliver items an individual or family does not need anymore, but to the needy one. Repair reusable electronic, electrical gadgets and furniture and value added to start a repair shop and to promote the production of eco-friendly products. The Grama Panchayat has been in the forefront in enforcing legal actions for those who burn and throw plastics in public places and water bodies. The Haridha Karma Sena, headed by Kudumbasri, has been developed into a self-reliant enterprise, which ensures the sustainability of the system. Along with the proper mechanism for the management of non-biodegradable waste, the Panchayat has provided devices for source level and community level management of biodegradable waste which make Tumbaman Grama Panchayat a model for other local bodies. Thank you, President, for the presentation. We are going to the last presentation. It's from Kollam District, Kadakal Panchayat. I request President Kadakal Grama Panchayat to make the presentation. Adiyo Malinath in the Seram, Kadakal Grama Panchayat, Tendai to Padri Lanam. Adi got up in the mill. In love, Adi Lilam, Sarah Adi Lilith, Mukpo the Vere, Adaka Namal, Pangari Pizunda, Kurumusi, Sambizan, the Rolore, Pangari Pizunda, Vidigal in the Nair, some Padanai and Tolan Vidigal, there is some Nalai and Tolan Kadagal Namu. Avadam Nalula, a plastic field, so he came and took it in the Kadakal Gramma Panjait covers an area of 29.46 square kilometer and is located in the eastern part of Kollam district 
in the Chadayamangalam constituency under the Chadayamangalam block panchayats and Kotarakara taluk. The total population is 30,719 in 10,135 families in 19 wards. There are 88 public institutions, 3,938 commercial and industrial establishments, two markets, a government hospital, 12 schools and 5 auditoriums. The Gramopanjayat produces 7.6 tons of bio-waste, 4.61 tons of non-bio-waste and 160 kg of hazardous waste per day. When the present committee took charge in 2015, there was no system in place for the treatment of non-bio-waste. Then the Panchayat Committee planned and implemented various schemes worth Rs 90 lakh for the source level treatment of waste at households and institutions, common waste treatment facilities, sanitation and collection and treatment of non-bio waste. Even though the Panchayat tried to address the biodegradable waste management first, it gave prime importance to non-biodegradable waste management too. Plastic collection was started utilizing the service of about 30 women in each ward selected through Kudumbasri network. A material collection facility and a plastic shredding unit was also set up in 2018-19 utilizing an amount of Rs 21,46,215. The Harida Karma Sena collects all types of dry waste. For storing the segregated wastes, many collection facilities have also been started in all wards, utilizing an amount of rupees 6,97,613. A mini collection facility was also started for the collection of dry waste in the town area. From the mini collection facilities functioning at each ward, the primary segregated plastic waste is transported to the main MCF using the tractor owned by the panchayat and there a further segregation is also done by the Haridagarma Sena people before processing it. Besides the plastic shredding machine, a bailing machine has also been installed at the main MCF utilizing the fund of block panchayat. The work of constructing a resource recovery facility has also been completed utilizing the block fund of rupees 12,649. Since the bailing and shedding has been done at the MCF, only sorting and segregation are done in the RRF. A user fee of rupees 30 for households and rupees 50 for commercial institutions is collected by the Harida Karmasena. Total user fee collected amounts to approximately 75,750 rupees per month. The average monthly income of Harida Kamasena people is rupees 5,000, which is obtained from user fee as well as the viability gap fund provided by the panchayats. Till now, around 30 ton dry waste has been collected. Out of it, 2.8 ton plastic, which has no recycle value, has been shredded. The shredded plastic has completely been utilized to tar 5.85 kilometers road. An amount of rupees 64,400 could be saved thus from the road tarring cost. The baled plastic has been handed over to Clean Kerala Company and an amount of rupees 12,000 was obtained for that. In addition, around 20 tons of unsegregated plastic and 3 tons of non recyclable other waste materials was also handed over to Clean Kerala Company free of cost in 2019 June as part of pre-monsoon cleaning campaign. The Harita Kamasena collects around 700 kilograms of plastic waste and 100 kilograms of other dry waste per month. With the support of Harita Kerala Mission, the Panchayat is confident that it can achieve the total clean status by 2020 August by expanding the activities of the Harita Kamasena. The Panchayat is in the forefront of strictly implementing the green protocol and instructions have been given to auditoriums and places of worships to avoid single use of 
products and observe green protocol during festivals, wedding ceremonies and the like. For the prompt implementation of green protocol in the panchayat area, 2059 steel plates, 4503 steel glasses have been purchased using an amount of 2,72,904 and given to Harita Kamasena through Kudumbasri. Since January 2020, the date on which single-use plastic ban has been implemented in the state, the panchayats conducted a lot of awareness camps and distributed pamphlets and brochures as part of implementation of plastic ban. Strict warning has been given to those who burn plastics or throw away single-use plastic products and other waste materials in public places. Till now, the collection and treatment of dry waste, the gram and block panjayat have incurred a capital expenditure of rupees 45,73,648. Even though the income from this dry waste treatment is very low, a very high social return is there by way of nature, environmental protection and safety and health of people. In bio waste treatment, also the panjayat is in the forefront. 230 biogas plants, 2,100 compost units and 1,200 bio bins have been distributed to houses. For the remaining 6,500 houses, compost pits have been constructed through MGNREGS program. Fixed doom biogas plants of 50 cubic meter capacity are also functioning for treating the waste from public market and slaughterhouses. The gas produced is given to three shops in the shopping complex. Seven bio manor units are also functioning for producing ordinary compost and vermin compost. Seven tons of bio manors thus produced is distributed to the farmers through eco shops. A modern comfort station is also built and functioning well. We are sure we have produced a sustainable model in dry waste management at local level that is worth emulating not only by other local bodies in the state, but in the country as well. Thank you, President. Now our uh, seven presentations are over. Uh, now, this, uh, now the time is for panel discussion. I uh, request Dr. Ajay Kumar Verma to lead the panel discussion. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm very happy that all the presentations exemplifies the fact that now zero waste management is possible, not only in the urban areas, but also in the remote rural areas. Excellent activity that has gone in the local governments. Basically, we have seven models now, different uh, initiatives, different types of models that are evolved. I have one one question to each, but then I reserve these questions to the end. But uh, I need to say that uh, uh, some highlights of these presentations, like uh, the Taliparamba, which was the first presentation that we made. Uh, it's basically essentially an organizational support that they received, the had the Sahai Stabnam that they have received. Uh, and their devoted activity and the cooperation of the uh, municipal committee in Toto has made a evolved a model. Uh, naturally, there will be a question evolving that how, if what happens if the institution uh, discontinues its service. So we will have to institutionalize this sort of support system. But other is an excellent model as envisaged in the Haridha Kerala mission. Actually, the guidelines of Haridha Kerala mission is totally uh, made applicable in the Vatagara by, by the Vatagara municipality because uh, they have not only uh, uh, applied the guidelines to manage the waste, they have gone beyond in the circular economy uh, pathway in, uh, in, uh, in developing a green technology center, thereby providing support to the local people in uh, applying the green technology aspects in agriculture, uh, the, the water uh, management, as well as in energy management. These are three critical areas in any local governments. Uh, so they are providing a green technology center, which is what is expected from the Heritage Kerala Mission activity uh, in strengthening. So it's a very uh, uh, improved way of uh, 
model that is evolved. Kerala IGP is an uh, excellent uh, example of value addition of waste by intensive sorting and then uh, finding out the demand wherever the demand is there so they can sell it and then actually gain the benefit of that and uh, support the Haridhagana Karma Sena system. Then Alakot GP, it's a remote place. Uh, so naturally, uh, very difficult to uh, uh, implement or very difficult to uh, bring about a behavioral change of the people, that, but then they succeeded in doing that. There are uh, many uh, attempts that they have made like uh, bottle booths and things like that. Uh, so, so a good effect by Alakot Gram Panchayat. Ariat Gram Panchayat, they are supported by youngsters in uh, developing the plastic smart Ariat. So naturally, a very good system is installed for monitoring. So whenever there is a strong monitoring system is there, naturally the this sort of uh, waste management system can function well. Uh, of course, IEC has taken a or information education communication campaign also must have supported them in taking this message to each households. Uh, Tumbaman is uh, do, doing well in uh, evolving the Haritha Karma Sena and then linking with this Clean Kerala company, etc. But they will have to work more in sustaining the system, I think. Uh, but because they are still on the viability gap funding, uh, which is not, uh, so this is a very uh, time limit uh, support uh, by the government. So naturally they will have to be on their own. So naturally they will have to work more on this system. Kadakil is again a, a sort of a synchronization uh, example, like mini collection from various wards, the, uh, the functioning of the uh, material collection facilities, linkage with the resource recovery facilities, etc. But they are also still on the viability gap fund and uh, they will have to change that. On the whole, all the seven presentations actually say that uh, guidelines have to be evolved, which will have to be incorporated into Municipal Act and Drama Panchayat Act so that the system will uh, take an administrative route as well. So now we have two, uh, three, uh, uh, three eminent person who will be responding to these presentations, uh, Dr. Uh, Rabjot Sodhi, who is heading the circular economy uh, wing of the UNDP. Swati Singh Sambiar of uh, uh, UN Habitat. She is very well known to Kerala because she has been active with the Kerala activities. And Keshavan Nair, who is heading the Clean Kerala Company. Now, let me request uh, Prabhjot Sodhi, uh, head uh, the circular economy wing of UNDP, to respond to this presentation. I think we have about five minutes to respond to these presentations. So, firstly, very good afternoon to all of you. Can you hear me, please? Yes, sir. Please. Hey. Thank you, Dr. Ajay. Thanks for giving me the opportunity. You know, if I have to sum up in one line, I'm getting mad and I want to leave my job and come down to Kerala. That is the impression I have gathered. And it's an unfortunate thing that I've not gone into the details of the programs that you're running. I really am very impressed in various ways. And Thanks for inviting me into it. I don't know who is the person behind the show, but I must thank Harita Kerala Mission, the Clean Kerala Company, the Harita Karma Sena, the people on the forefront, and definitely the Suchitaba Mission, Simaji, Mirsa, and uh, all the other colleagues. Nice to see Joy there. But let me come to the point now. Uh, you have summed them up very well. I have four points to make. Really, first, congratulations to all of them and thinking in a more systemic way. And I think so, Dr. Uh, Ajay, you said what I was trying to say. We need to create standard operating procedures in order to see the three points which were mentioned during the course of discussions. One was that there is a great resource efficiency there is value addition taking place, and there is a waste minimization concept, the three principles behind the circular economy. So I think so, SOPs in taking the strengths of the presentations, we develop and integrate within the system, 
what the chairperson just said the institutionalization of the whole show that's one point i want to make the models are more or less the same they are talking in a in a similar fashion one over the other the thing which impresses me of the models i went into your details which you shared me the thing really impressed me was the income expenditure statements which you are making and how in the income expenditure statements we need to ensure the resource efficiency value addition concepts there can be various value additions which can take place you are going strongly for roads there can be something we can do through agglomeration extruders inject moldings and all those sorts of little concepts can be drawn in and we can do the maximization of resource efficiency so that's one set of issues in the income expenditure statements we have to put in the effort where we can minimize that viability gap funding third point i think so i was very impressed by the green products the green shops the way you are building the system but i still want to see now i'm coming to a major issue i still would like to see the inflow and the outflow properly tagged and we at the harita kerala mission so i don't know which is the body which really takes up or the clean kerala company we can earn massive epr credits we don't need to run down to any partnerships we will you are doing how many 10.26 lakhs tons of dry waste per year i don't know what is the correct figure of the plastics but even if i take to a minimal level of 2 lakh tons per annum and if we get an epr that's a huge sum of money we will get it and i have this thought in my mind how to go about it and i've been talking we we have a undp partnership with you that's why i i am really annoyed with myself that i wanted should have gone into details with the clean kerala company i did have one or two discussions and seema ji had been writing across but couldn't come in but i think very clearly we can identify how much is the inflow outflow we can talk with the companies directly and we will become your technical service provider partner which we are already with you thanks for putting undp there and i really appreciate you and i think so the clean kerala company or the the respective organization who is the the organization which is handling which i understood is clean kerala company can directly get the benefit of the epr sir and we will make sure that the investments go in the right manner so given that point i also want to bring in a little more semi automation i saw I, i mean i'm very much for the people and i am for this sena which you have created excellent cadres i think a little bit of semi automation and little investments will further improve their efficiency and give them a better return over this uh, th that's a small thought i needed to you are doing 32 tractions at many of these places that's a very very impressive way of working i think so i'm sure that they are using the saving credits many of these innovation creativities which you have brought in the user fee certificate small tailoring units and assessments but i also want to add one more point the last point and i can come back again is the point of safety none of the people i was having my heart in my mouth when i saw the baler coming down and the hand still inside so i was getting very disturbed so i think so you are destined to make a path breaking program while the government of india is thinking and i am sort of helping two states orissa and madhya pradesh to draft the guidelines that i looked very much into your model and i was learning from that and this this has given me a great opportunity so i think so a little bit on the safety aspects and i'm sure you are taking care of the sena in terms of their social inclusion which is giving them identity cards and insurances and health covers medical camps and so and so forth and i must congratulate lastly 
Mir Mohammed Saab, you have created the decentralized driveway centers within your panchayats and your municipalities. That's a great step forward, sir. Many, many states are still endeavoring to find out whether we should go in for capital intensive in waste to energy plants or we should really go the way you are going. And I think so that's a treat to the eye to see all this. Many congratulations. I'll stop here and then I'll come to any other question you have. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Prabhjot. Uh, now let me call on uh, Swati. Uh, can you just... Yeah, am I audible? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to be here. Um, um, I see Dr. Isaac here. I see a lot of old friends here with whom I've worked uh, past many years now. So Kerala always feels home and any such intervention that happens there uh, really makes me happy. Uh, first of all, just like Dr. Sodhi said, I think uh, uh, you know all the interventions that happen there uh, you know, these are all success stories and uh, gives a scope for all of us, uh, you know, to learn more about uh, what's happening and how can things become better more at a national level or at a global level for that matter. Uh, so I would want to congratulate all the participating municip municipalities and gram panchayats to share their interventions, which broadly talked about minimization, inclusivity, um, you know, having setting uh, to set up sustainable uh, dry waste management systems. Adding on to what uh, Dr. Sodhi said, I think I had 10 points, so I'm cut short by five now. So I'll just highlight, uh, you know, ones which, uh, which I felt, uh, uh, you know, are really important. Uh, firstly is recycling. Um, I feel though every municipality had highlighted and Gram Pachai that uh, you know, uh, various materials are going for recycling, but I think what I mostly question is, it, is it recycling or is it downcycling that we're talking about? Because uh, I think this is an intervention that we should push for at the national level, Dr. Sodhi, which is to have standards for recycled products. I mean, till date, you don't get a pet bottle, uh, uh, you know, from a recycled pet bottle from pet, but it gets converted into a fiber that is used to make your shirts, shoes, or uh, jackets. So, so you know, questioning recycling as a whole, and is it recycling in reality? Uh, because I feel uh, it's it's something which is considered to be as jobs of the poor. So how can we further upgrade this sector? Also in the time of the pandemic, when we know that this sector has been uh, deeply impacted. So one, one area is that which I felt uh, needs to be deliberated further. Uh, both at national level as well as various state level interventions. Secondly, all these exemplary case studies that were showcased today, I feel um, similar to what Dr. Sodhi said, that there should be some benchmarking of uh, you know, these examples um, into model frameworks so that uh, you know, this could be circulated around for other cities or other gram panchayats also to be replicated. Presently, Swachh Bharat Brahmi has a lot of funding and uh, you know it's it's allocating it to gram panchayats but most of the gram panchayats don't know what to do with that money so i feel all these interesting examples should be showcased at the central level uh, so i feel there's a need to benchmark it uh, highlighting the process the model the economics of it and of course sharing the case studies and how different st stakeholders were benefited i think that would be very very useful uh, thirdly of course as we are going with waste management and Kerala has been the front runner on zero waste management, how can we close the loop? I mean, we all use the buzzword circular economy, but are we really closing the loop is the question. So for instance, single use plastics, I mean, what are we doing to reduce it or how Kerala as a state could become a role model in terms of, you know, giving options on alternatives for single use plastics. So I feel those answers I, I do expect, uh, you know, uh, from, from the state, considering it's way ahead in terms of waste management and dry waste management, because one of the biggest area that we struggle with is that, uh, firstly, it's COVID. Secondly, we are seeing many of the states taking a U-turn when it comes to plastic. There is a surge in plastics all over. So how do we mitigate that challenge is, is an area that really uh, uh, should be questioned. 
Fourth, the extended producer responsibility component. Now, I feel that uh, at, at central level, there is a new draft policy that is out on EPR. But Kerala already has been doing some sustainable models uh, on dry waste management and channelization. Now, in that document, which was circulated and which is close for comments now, I don't see these case studies. I mean, I feel uh, when we talk about, uh, you know, revising the EPR document, I mean, I'm sure we all should, would have sent our comments. I feel some of these interesting case studies to be included in that. So probably at state government, Haritha Keralam, Jatjivan sir, you know, I mean, uh, Seema ji or Dr. Isaac, if we could send uh, inputs to the central government on including some of these uh, models that are already there to strengthen EPR, I feel that should be very, very extremely useful for, uh, you know, strengthening that document further. And last is, of course, the... COVID-19 waste, you know, I feel that um, none of the municipalities uh, shared what are some of the interventions that they're doing with the surge of masks or gloves or PPEs that are being used in the present crisis and what is the modalities, what are the modalities that are being uh, adopted uh, to cure it because of course uh, cities across India are struggling uh, with managing, you know, this new kind of plastic pollution. So, so if some light could be thrown on that in terms of what Kerala is doing for, uh, you know, this kind of waste would be uh, really useful. Um, I think, yeah, I'll close at that. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Suti. Now yes, over to Keshav Nair. Yes. Thank you, sir. Uh, good evening. Good evening, all of you. That um, uh, all the seven uh, local governments have uh, made uh, excellent presentations on their experiences in uh, uh, managing the dry waste, that is non biodegradable waste. And of course, uh, sir, it is our uh, privilege to tell that uh, these uh, seven models or the other uh, models I mean, uh, coming up in the state is being uh, scaled up or uh, to the Held up to 500 gram panchayats and uh, 50 municipalities. That is the target we laid down for the current year. And uh, that uh, all these 500 uh, gram panchayats and 550 municipalities will be achieving the um, uh, status of uh, clean municipalities, clean gram panchayats by this month, uh, by this month or uh, by next month. Actually, it would have been completed by the time. Otherwise, the uh, COVID factor has not affected. In fact, um, uh, the models uh, uh, that um, uh, for um, the local governments, uh, actually uh, the government systems, uh, the Kerala Mission and uh, Sujitha Mission, they are the two pillars uh, for the for, uh, for uh, facilitating the local governments to achieve this uh, status. And also the Clean Kerala Company, we are from our side, be joined in the coalition later as a tool for uh, managing the uh, uh, non-biodegradable waste. So the 150 uh, resource recovery facilities now created in the state, it's not a simple uh, uh, structure. It, has, it is all mechanized, shredding machines, bailing machines, and uh, some, some uh, units have a, a uh, the dust remover machines also it has, and that the the, the, the presence of these machines have led the, the uh, gram panchayats and municipalities to go shredding their plastic and uh, uh, using it for a uh, road construction. The model of polymerized road construction is set by Kerala state, and uh, uh, nearly fifteen hundred. 1,500 kilometers of road has been uh, uh, completed using uh, by with the usage of uh, shredded plastic. In fact, 13,340 uh, th uh, metric ton plastic has already been uh, shredded and uh, it is being used for a uh, uh, ro uh, road uh, construction. In fact, uh, the plastic that is used for a uh, road construction is Zero, zero value 
zero value plastic in fact the high value plastic like pet bottles or a ld plastic that is that goes to the um, recycling and uh, the low value or a zero value plastics we have used for uh, road construction in fact uh, the value addition that is created through road the shredded shredded plastic is one of the uh, uh, good models that we have uh, now created and it is uh, in a uh, it is spreading in a good way in fact Similarly, um, um, one of the biggest challenges that we are facing in managing the um, non-biodegradable waste is that uh, uh, the, 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 the recycling component. In fact, um, the previous uh, panelists have already uh, told that, uh, spoken that about the need for recycling. And in the recycling, of course, um, uh, more than 200 units have been registered in the state, but in, in practice, only 60 or uh, below 100 units are working uh, uh, properly. Actually, the waste that is collected, uh, the recyclable waste that is collected from the Grama Panchayats and municipalities are being uh, transported to outside the state for uh, recycling. That is the practice generally we have seen here. But that should be uh, some, uh, that, that has to be reduced and proper systems we have to build uh, inside the state for uh, that as uh, Sobhji was uh, uh, telling about um, extruder and uh, agglomerator like, uh, like things, such um, that uh, deforming the plastic in as pellets or uh, lumps, that uh, technology we have to bring more into the state and uh, the, the transboundary movements of the waste is to be restricted to uh, these pellets or uh, agglomerated uh, our, um, lumps or something of that sort only. The, the raw waste transfer in the later stage also, if there may be chance for uh, restrictions if being imposed uh, for transboundary movements so that we have to be uh, prepared for uh, uh, introducing new technology for uh, pelleting and also uh, making lumps and deforming the uh, waste plastic and all. Similarly, we have the um, uh, constraint of that uh, non-recyclable waste is coming in the non-biodegradable segment. Segment and non-recyclable like uh, chapels, uh, shoes, bags, school bags, like uh, those things. We have uh, no uh, system. Uh, we have uh, no perfect system for uh, its uh, recycling. Uh, only that um, landfilling or uh, uh, landfilling with uh, Kerala Enviro Infrastructure Limited for such things are only available now. So, um, and of course, some agreement with our uh, cement factories, but that also outside this thing. Of course, transboundary movements of this uh, type of material is also inevitable for the uh, for, for the current for the current practice. Now. So, uh, that that also we have to think how the treatment of non-recyclable waste, uh, non-recyclable, non-biodegradable waste. Uh, what is to be done? That uh, that we have to think in a big way. There are also in the panel discussions another point has come up that uh, extended producer responsibility. In fact, uh, um, our concept is that uh, the local governments are primarily responsible for the managing the non-biodegradable waste, the solid waste management. Uh, here, they should have a stake in the uh, extended producer responsibility uh, revenue. In fact. So uh, some uh, steps we have to initiate from the government level itself that uh, EPR should become a part of the activity of uh, local governments and uh, that, that revenue flow should be regulated in such a way that they are, they are benefited. The local governments are benefited from the EPR component. The manufacturers who are doing in, uh, outside the state are dumping their material and for the consumption of the state. And, for example, the electronic waste itself. Electronic waste, uh, of course, uh, after Karnataka and Maharashtra, the largest uh, consumer is Kerala, our state. And uh, of course, the way, uh, the, uh, after the consumption, the EPR component is not uh, exactly coming to the state. So some restrictions, some uh, some, some regulations we have to think of, of the, on, on that component and uh, it has to be brought into the system, in fact. So in the non-biodegradable uh, segment, the Interla company is primarily uh, uh, 
setting our targets for a collection, uh, segregation, transportation, and uh, uh, transportation to the recyclers and all. Recycling industry has to be uh, revisited and they have to be promoted in a big way. That is the uh, immediate need of the uh, state in this uh, sector. However, uh, the, the present, uh, presently we are into uh, creating more, uh, um, strengthening the, our uh, resource recovery facilities by providing more machineries and all. And we are looking at uh, UNDP, Professor especially, for uh, setting up a model in uh, Trivandrum for, uh, uh, for the uh, plastic waste management. Of course, we are hopeful that we could uh, go ahead with that. Okay, sir. thank you. Okay. So now we have we have certain questions. Jane, Chodingal Malayalatil Parayam, Uteran Levitisham, other English Lakans Mikiam. Namatha Taliparama municipality, the Hyderakarma Senate, we deal in the waste Shaharikanate to own the Samayat. Our biodegradable waste management, we deal in the biodegradable waste management, Kairing Lupode, Srathikin on Dirino. Our Azula Parishil and Algit on Dirino. Taliparama. Hello, sir. 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 Our training was in Dino, our Kavisha Maya or Nalla Uruba to Vudigali Ringam Bostan and I. Our Ringam Ringam Bostali, Inagura Adako Bacon, Samida Ningalu, Oro Masanga Ponus Samyatum, at the Persoici, and Avisha Maya Nadabadim, our Kavisha Maya, Sayam Chidur Kandi, Chagari Chori, Adaka Ubekan La Padichur Kandi. Please, <laughs> 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 And then you can do it. That's the municipality. This is the Talipur Municipality. We have to do it. 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 We our Sogar agency of Rubio Pertian. Yeah, so you have a service provider. Our everybody Shanichu. That's it. Shanichu. Hazard. Adena Yankur and the Parinsara, Uri Duba Volu, Namuk, when the waste manager in the Celevilla. Uri Master Tele, Nala Ritinanur Duba, trenching ground in the Namade in the Karamal, Mali Samskarna plant in the Vadi Gai to come to or Varsha and Batran Dai Tiruna Ruba Vadi Gaiti, E. Nurmel Barad Sai Sanga Namuk Terian. Namukur Ruba only the e waste management at Chalavilla. Ada Kandu and Dana, Varatan Panjaitum, other Bolila Panjaitari, very much. Bible thinking of funding Uruku the Mula? Hello? Bible thinking of funding Uruku the Lay? Ilila, the Adi Porta de Lu. Totakatri Porta the Matrulu. In it on the Gurtilla, sir. Thank you. Okay. Telephone by chairman or do you the other chair to them? Other private agency, Edangil and Karanavashal, withdraw Jayanangil, in the Eric Municipality alternative. Agreement Eternal Tecana Agreement Avera Namalipo, Ipu Vegetal, Moon Okay. 
അതുപോലെ തന്നെ അതുപോലെ തന്നെ സാർ അവരെ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെന്റ് ഉണ്ട് നമ്മുടെ ഈ മാലിന്യ സംസ്കരണ പ്ലാന്റിൽ അവരൊരുപാട് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെന്റ് ഉണ്ട് അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ അവർ ഒരിക്കലും പോകാൻ സാധ്യതയില്ല ബേലി മിഷൻ ഉൾപ്പെടെയുള്ളത് ഒക്കെ അവര് തന്നെ അവിടെ കൊണ്ടുവന്ന് വെച്ചതാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ പെട്ടെന്ന് അവര് പിന്നെ നമ്മൾ വിട്ടു പോകാൻ സാധ്യതയില്ല ഓക്കെ ഫോർ ദി ബെനിഫിറ്റ് ഓഫ് അതർ ലിസണേഴ്സ് ഐ വാസ് ആസ്കിംഗ് തളിപ്പറമ്പ് മുനിസിപ്പാലിറ്റി വെദർ ദി ഹരിതകർമ്മ സേന വെൻ ദ വിസിറ്റ് ദി ഹൗസ് ഹോൾഡ്സ് ഫോർ കളക്ടിംഗ് ദ ഡ്രൈ വേസ്റ്റ് വിൽ ദേ ബി അറ്റൻഡിംഗ് ടു ദി ഡീസെൻട്രലൈസ്ഡ് ബയോഡിഗ്രേഡബിൾ വേസ്റ്റ് മാനേജ്മെന്റ് ഫെസിലിറ്റീസ് ആൻഡ് റിപ്പയർ ദം ഇഫ് ദർ ഇറ്റ് വാസ് റിക്വയർഡ് ആൻഡ് ദി ഏജൻസി ഹൂ സപ്പോർട്ട്സ് ദി മുനിസിപ്പാലിറ്റി സേ ദേ ഡു സോ ആൻഡ് ദേ ആർ കളക്ടിംഗ് സം മണി ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് Uh, similarly the uh, the agency is also now uh, demanded to give their service to nearby municipalities and panchayats for which uh, they are uh, taking some money uh, they are they are uh, they, they are doing that business for the panchayats and all which is not linked to the uh, talipuram municipality act so here i uh, uh, swati and uh, sothi do you have any questions to talipuram municipality so uh, thank you dr uh, dr sir it's very difficult for me to really correlate to the the, the particular panchayat with the presentation okay. because okay. of the uh, uh, not so much aware of it but as i said earlier little bit what mr nair also said and what swati said little bit of automations will create resource efficiency and will lead them to better returns because they are very beautifully managing their income expenditure statements i drafted this about 12 years back when i first started doing plastic waste and i'm seeing and i worked at the points where the where the expenditure was more and the income was less so i have, we have to work in that balance and i think so largely all of them are the case studies which you have presented all of them are excellent as everybody has said it and these can be learning grounds for everybody i don't see any problem we have to see little bit of electronic uh, you know weighing scales will determine how much we can buy it outside and sell it across for a better recycling mode uh, and where the recycling needs to be done i think so i'm going to focus very strongly on this kerala partnership that, yeah, yeah so that's that that's what i'm saying we have noted that uh, regarding vadagara uh, i have one question this is related to see you have now gone into managing the uh, uh, the the waste uh, uh, resource recovery centers material collection facility now gone into the green business many green business then green technology center etc but do you have a waste bylaw to take up and enforce the sort of guidelines that you will adayade vadagara municipality le po green technology center green business thodangiya vivida karyangalilekku poittundu i have already a bylaw you have a bylaw and we put an agreement with hyderabad masana and the municipality hyderabad masana is a registered society charitable society act as per charitable society act it is a registered society and the municipality and society make an agreement ha ah. three year agreement with haridharma sena adile municipality endengil fund kodukkunnundo the project municipality ki endengil contribution undo aa society ki kodukkunnundo municipality society ki endengilum financial support kodukkunnundo vg fund kodukkaru viability gap fund only adu aavashyam undo ini angotte ഇനി വരൂല അത് വൈവിധ്യവൽക്കരണത്തിലൂടെ കൂടുതൽ ഇക്കൻ ജനറേഷൻ പ്രോജക്റ്റുകൾ ഞങ്ങൾ നടപ്പിലാക്കുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ അത് വൈവിധ്യം കുറഞ്ഞു കുറഞ്ഞു വരും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ അവിടെ ഈ പിന്നെ ബയോഡിഗ്രി വേസ്റ്റ് മാനേജ് ചെയ്യാനുള്ള സപ്പോർട്ടും ഈ ഹരിതകർമ്മ സേന തന്നെ കൊടുക്കുന്നുണ്ടോ അത് അതിന്റെ ഉപദേശങ്ങളും നിർദ്ദേശങ്ങളും പരിശോധനയൊക്കെ അവർ നടത്തുന്നുണ്ട് മുനിസിപ്പാലിറ്റി സബ്സിഡിയോട് കൂടിയാണ് ഈ ബയോ വേസ്റ്റ് മാനേജ്മെന്റ് സംവിധാനങ്ങൾ കൊടുക്കുന്നത് സ്വാപ് ഷോപ്പ് എത്ര ഫ്രീക്വന്റ് ആയിട്ട് നടത്താൻ പറ്റുന്നുണ്ട് സ്വാപ് ഷോപ്പ് ഞങ്ങൾ 
എൻഫോഴ്സ് <laughs> 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 all these things so they say that they have a waste management bylaw and they have an agreement with the the haritha karma sena it's a registered body and they have an agreement with the haritha karma sena as to how they will serve the municipal how they will give the service to the municipality and uh, how they will sustain the activity and things like that so that is a full fledged uh, 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 the the agreement that they have gone into along uh, with uh, also with the waste management by law that is the answer that i got a convincing answer and to kerala igp basically your strength is value addition of waste by intensive sorting and finding out the uh, demand apo ee nalla maadhiri sort cheyittu njan vadagare vadagare chodyam ende bhagathunu kazhinju അടുത്ത് കരളായി കരളായി പഞ്ചായത്താണ് നല്ല മാതിരിയുള്ള വേസ്റ്റ് സോർട്ടിംഗ് നിങ്ങൾ നടത്തുന്നതുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഈ പിന്നെ ഒരു നല്ല ഡിമാൻഡ് നമുക്ക് ഉള്ളവരെ കണ്ടെത്താനും അതുവഴി ഇത് വിൽപ്പന നടത്താനും ഫണ്ട് മൊബിലൈസ് ചെയ്യാനും സാധിക്കുന്നത് അപ്പോ പിന്നെ പക്ഷെ ഇപ്പോ പഞ്ചായത്ത് അതിനകത്ത് ഒരു താല്പര്യം എടുക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ഹരിതകർമ്മ സേനയുണ്ട് ഹരിത സഹായ സ്ഥാപനത്തിന്റെ സപ്പോർട്ട് ഉണ്ടാകാം ഗ്രാമപഞ്ചായത്തും നാച്ചുറൽ സപ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ എങ്ങനെയാണ് ഇത് ആവിയിൽ സസ്റ്റെയിൻ ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്നത് ഭാവിയിൽ എങ്ങനെയാണിത് നിലനിർത്താനായിട്ട് സാധിക്കുക യൂസർ യൂസർ ഫീസിൽ നിന്ന് ഈ ലഭിക്കുന്ന ഫണ്ട് കൊണ്ടും ഇത് വിറ്റ് കിട്ടുന്ന ഫണ്ട് കൊണ്ടും ഇത് മുന്നോട്ട് കൊണ്ടുപോകാൻ സാധിക്കും അതെ പക്ഷെ അതിനൊരു ഉത്തരവാദിത്വം വേണ്ടേ ഒരു ഒരു സംവിധാനം വേണ്ടേ ആരാണ് ആ സംവിധാനം ഈ സംവിധാനം എം കുടുംബശ്രീയിൽ എം ഇ യൂണിറ്റ് ആണ് ആ യൂണിറ്റ് ആയിട്ട് രജിസ്റ്റർ ചെയ്ത് കൊണ്ട് ആ യൂണിറ്റിന്റെ പിന്നെ ആ യൂണിറ്റ് രജിസ്റ്റർ ചെയ്ത് അവരെ അവരിൽ നിന്ന് തന്നെ സെക്രട്ടറി പ്രസിഡന്റ് അതിൽ നിന്ന് തന്നെ ഒരു അക്കൗണ്ടന്റ് എല്ലാം മോണിറ്ററിംഗ് നടത്തിയിട്ടാണ് മുന്നോട്ട് കൊണ്ടുപോകുന്നുണ്ട് and uh, so they will be doing the business so naturally it will sustain on its its own because of the uh, income and uh, expenditure uh, balancing and things like that so naturally hope that uh, we will have a good model from there uh, alakot gram panchayat idiki uh avade basically ningal adisana varat ningal pinne avadte oru ഒരു പ്രൈവറ്റ് പേഴ്സൺ ഈ വേസ്റ്റ് സോർട്ട് ചെയ്ത് വേസ്റ്റ് വാങ്ങിക്കൊണ്ട് പോകുന്നത് കൊണ്ടാണ് ആ സംവിധാനം നല്ല രീതിയിൽ നിലനിർത്താനായിട്ട് പറ്റുന്നത് ആലക്കോട് ഗ്രാമപഞ്ചായത്തിനോടാണ് എന്റെ ചോദ്യം അപ്പോ അപ്പൊ അങ്ങനെ ആ വ്യക്തി പിന്നോട്ട് പോകുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അതിനൊരു പകരം സംവിധാനം എങ്ങനെ കൊണ്ടുവരാനായിട്ട് പറ്റും പിന്നോട്ട് പോകാനുള്ള സാധ്യത അല്ലെ കുറെ കാലമായിട്ട് ഈ സ്ക്രാപ്പ് ബിസിനസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഒരാളാണ് ഇങ്ങനെ പറ്റിയില്ല എങ്കിൽ ും മറ്റൊരു ചോദ്യം ഈ വളരെ ചില സ്ഥലങ്ങളിലൊക്കെ ബോട്ടിൽ ബൂത്ത് ഒക്കെ വെക്കുകയുണ്ടായിട്ടുണ്ട് ഈ ബോട്ടിൽ ബൂത്തിൽ ആളുകൾ മറ്റ് ഈ പിന്നെ അഴുകാ അഴുകുന്ന മാലിന്യം കൊണ്ടിടുന്ന സംഭവങ്ങൾ ഉണ്ടായിട്ടുണ്ടോ അതെങ്ങനെയാണ് തടയാനായിട്ട് സാധിച്ചത് അതെ നമ്മൾ അതിനകത്തൊരു ബോട്ടിൽ കിടക്കത്തക്ക രീതിയിലുള്ള ഹോൾ മാത്രമേ അതിനെ ഇട്ടിട്ടുള്ളൂ അതുകൊണ്ട് വലിയ തോതിലുള്ള മാലിന്യങ്ങൾ അതിനകത്ത് വരാനുള്ള സാധ്യത കുറവാണ് പിന്നെ ഇത് ഓരോരുത്തരെയും കസ്റ്റഡിയിലാണ് ഇരിക്കുന്നത് 
ഷോപ്പുകളുടെയോ അങ്ങനെയുള്ള ഒരു ഒരു മേൽനോട്ടത്തിലാണ് വെച്ചിരിക്കുന്നത് ഈ നിങ്ങളുടെ ഈ ഒരു എഫേർട്ട് ഉണ്ടല്ലോ അതായത് നല്ല വൃത്തിയായിട്ട് ഒഴുകുന്ന പുഴ അതുപോലെ അവിടുത്തെ പരിസരമൊക്കെ വളരെ വൃത്തിയായിട്ട് കിടക്കുന്ന ഒരു സ്ഥിതിയൊക്കെയാണ് പ്രസന്റേഷനിൽ കണ്ടത് അതിനുള്ള സമൂഹത്തിന്റെ ഒരു റെസ്പോൺസ് എന്താണ് സമൂഹത്തിന് തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും നല്ല റെസ്പോൺസ് ഉണ്ട് ആളുകൾ ഇതുമായി നന്നായി സഹകരിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഈ കളക്ഷനൊക്കെ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അതൊരു ഒരു എയ്റ്റി പെർസെന്റിലേക്കൊക്കെ എത്തിക്കാൻ പറ്റിയിട്ടുണ്ട് നമ്മുടെ ഈ ഹരിതകർമ്മ സേനയുടെ നമ്മുടെ ഡെയിലി കളക്ഷൻ ആളുകളുടെ സഹകരണത്തോടുകൂടി അത് ചെയ്തത് അതെ ഞാൻ ചോദിക്കുന്നത് ആളുകള് ആരെങ്കിലും ആരെങ്കിലും ഒക്കെ ആളുകൾ വേസ്റ്റ് റോഡിലേക്ക് ഇടുന്നവരായിട്ട് ഇപ്പോഴും ഉണ്ടോ വളരെ ആവശ്യമായിട്ടേ ഉള്ളൂ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഒരു ഗ്രാമ മേഖലയാണ് പൊതുവെ ടൗൺ ഏരിയകൾ കുറവാണ് ടൗൺ ഏരിയയിലും അങ്ങനെ വലിയ ശല്യങ്ങൾ ഇല്ല ചെറുതായിട്ടൊക്കെ സ്വാഭാവികമായി ഉണ്ട് അത് ഞങ്ങൾ ക്ലീൻ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ഐ വാസ് ആസ്കിംഗ് ദി ആലക്കോട്ട് ഗ്രാമ പഞ്ചായത്ത് വിച്ച് ഇസ് എ ഹില്ലി ടെറൈൻ ദി ഹൈ റേഞ്ച് റീജൻ ഇൻ ഇടുക്കി വേർ they their waste management uh, system especially the dry waste management system is linked to a, uh, a scrap dealer who is taking uh, whatever recyclables that they generate so naturally if he withdraws what will be the response and so they say they can have a linkage with the resource recovery centers in nearby block level resource recovery centers and all uh, so and uh, this person has been supporting them so naturally Uh, he will continue to do that and all and i had one more question in uh, they are keeping the bottle booths at many places to collect the plastic bottles and all whether uh, people are not people are dumping biodegradable waste into that which is a very uh, which is to do with the behavioral change of the local people and they say that there are very very few instances and especially the bottle booths are looked after by somebody who is nearby and all so naturally it is there and the societal response is also quite good in the sense that the waste that is thrown into the public places are reduced considerably these are the answers the alakot gram panchayat has received uh, as given and aryat panchayat basically now aryat panchayat avarade uh, oru strength their strength is basically the plastic uh, smart aryat and the monitoring support that they are providing through that in the collection segregation and all the aspects of waste management uh uh avaru ki chodikkanulla see now ipo ningal ee waste ok collect cheythu recycling samvidhanam ellam aayi paladum ellam recycle cheynnundu pakshe etra nammal recycle cheythalum reuse cheythalum pinneedum korchu waste undagu oru upayogam illa waste undagu adu endana cheynnathu അതായത് ഇപ്പൊ പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് കുപ്പികൾ തടിക്കഷ്ണങ്ങൾ ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള ഒരുപാട് വേസ്റ്റ് ഡ്രൈ വേസ്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് വരുമല്ലോ നമ്മള് പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക്കും പേപ്പറും അതുപോലുള്ള റീസൈക്ലിബിൾ വാല്യൂ കിട്ടുന്നവർക്ക് നമ്മൾ റീസൈക്കിൾ ചെയ്യും അതല്ലാതെ വരുന്ന പിന്നെ ഉപയോഗിക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്ന അത് അതല്ലാതെ നമുക്ക് ഉപയോഗം ഇല്ലാത്ത ചില കുറച്ച് വസ്തുക്കൾ ഉണ്ടാവും പ്രധാനമായിട്ട് ഇതെല്ലാം റീസൈക്കിൾ ചെയ്തു പോകും എന്നിരുന്നാലും അപൂർവമായിട്ട് ഈ റീസൈക്കിൾ ചെയ്യാനോ റീസ് ചെയ്യാനോ പറ്റാത്ത ചില വസ്തുക്കൾ ഉണ്ടാകാം ഉദാഹരണമായിട്ട് പൊട്ടിപ്പോയ ചെരുപ്പുകൾ അല്ല ബാഗുകളുടെ ഉപയോഗിക്കാൻ പറ്റാത്ത ബാഗുകൾ അതുപോലെ പിന്നെ ഈ തടിക്കഷ്ണങ്ങൾ ഇതൊക്കെ വന്നുകൂടായുകയില്ല അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് പൊട്ടിയ പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് ബക്കറ്റുകൾ ഇങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ വരാം അതറിയേണ്ടതല്ലേ ആ ഇലക്ട്രോണിക് വേസ്റ്റുകൾ എടുക്കാൻ ആളുണ്ടാവും അതിനൊരു വിലയുള്ള സാധനമാണല്ലോ മറിച്ച് ഈ വില വില ഇല്ലാത്ത സാധനങ്ങൾ അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ഇപ്പൊ ഈ ആര്യാട് വളരെ പോപ്പുലേഷൻ ഡെൻസിറ്റി കൂടുതലുള്ള ജനസാന്ദ്രത വളരെ കൂടുതലുള്ള ഒരു സ്ഥലമാണ് അപ്പൊ എല്ലാ ആളുകളും നിങ്ങളുടെ ഈ സമ്പ്രദായത്തിലേക്ക് ഇതിനകം തന്നെ വന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ടോ നിങ്ങൾ പറയുന്നത് 
ബാക്കിയുള്ളവരെ കൂടെ കൊണ്ടുവരാനായിട്ട് എന്താണ് ആദ്യഘട്ടത്തിൽ ഇത് നല്ല ഒരു ബോധവൽക്കരണത്തിലൂടെയാണ് നമ്മുടെ ആൾക്കാർ ഇതിലേക്ക് കൊണ്ടുവന്നിട്ടുള്ളത് ആദ്യഘട്ടത്തിൽ വളരെയധികം കുറച്ച് ആൾക്കാരെ സഹകരിക്കുന്നുണ്ടായിരുന്നുള്ളൂ അത് ഒരു വർഷം നീണ്ട അവയർനെസ്സിലൂടെയാണ് നമുക്ക് ഈ എൺപത് ശതമാനത്തോളം ആൾക്കാരെ ഇതിനെ ഇതിലേക്ക് കൊണ്ടുവരാൻ പറ്റിയിട്ടുള്ളത് ഈ ഹരിത കർമ്മസേന ഇനി ഇപ്പൊ നിങ്ങളുടെ ഹരിത കർമ്മസേനയുണ്ട് അവര് ഒരു സ്വയം സംവിധാനമായിട്ട് മാറിയിട്ടുണ്ടോ അതോ പഞ്ചായത്തിന്റെ സഹായം ഇപ്പോഴും അവര് എടുക്കുന്നുണ്ടോ അല്ല അവര് പഞ്ചായത്തിന്റെ സഹായത്തോടുകൂടെ നിൽക്കുന്ന എങ്കിലും അവര് അതല്ലാതെ മറ്റു വർക്കുകൾ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് അതായത് ഗ്രീൻ പ്രോട്ടോകോൾ പാലിക്കുന്നതിന്റെ ഭാഗമായിട്ട് പഞ്ചായത്തിന്റെ പിന്നെ പാത്രങ്ങൾ പ്ലേറ്റ് ഗ്ലാസ്സുകൾ വാടകയ്ക്ക് നൽകുന്നതും തിരികെ ഏൽപ്പിക്കുന്നതും ഒക്കെ ഉത്തരവാദിത്തം അവർക്കുണ്ട് അതുപോലെ തന്നെ കാറ്ററിംഗ് യൂണിറ്റ് അവർ തനതായിട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് രണ്ട് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഉണ്ട് കാറ്ററിംഗ് ഗ്രൂപ്പിന്റെ പിന്നെ തുണിസഞ്ചി നിർമ്മാണം അത് അവർ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ഇൻഷുറിംഗ്മെന്റൽക്ട്ടിറ്റി very very small activity and then hopefully they will be able to adopt that well and haritha karma sena is getting into a self sustainable mode that's what the, their uh, opinion is and when it comes to tumpaman gram panchayat uh, basically their activity is haritha karma sena linked to haritha sahaya sthapanam clean kerala company and uh, gram panchayat in fact uh, is the uh, is the force behind activating that system uh, once in e bhavile e harida karma sena e karyangal sondamayitte cheyan pattum allekil sondamayitte cheyum ennalladinte urappu panchayath indru vare undayittundo sare adayile nammala ivare samayamba unit kalayittu maatanana aaru ha adayile namakkulla മറ്റൊരു ചോദ്യം ഈ തുമ്പോൺ പഞ്ചായത്തിന്റെ സോഷ്യോ എക്കണോമിക് പ്രൊഫൈൽ നോക്കുമ്പം കുറച്ച് ഹൈ ഇൻകം ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഒരുപാടുള്ള ഒരു പഞ്ചായത്താണ് തുമ്പോൺ പഞ്ചായത്ത് അവിടെ ഈ സോപ്പ് ഷോപ്പ് എങ്ങനെയാണ് സസ്റ്റൈനബിൾ ആയിട്ട് നിൽക്കുക അത് പ്രവർത്തിക്കുന്നുണ്ടോ നല്ല രീതിയിൽ പ്രവർത്തിക്കുന്നുണ്ടോ പറഞ്ഞോളൂ ഞാൻ വരാം തുമ്പോണിലേക്ക് ഞാൻ വരാം കടയ്ക്കൽ ഗ്രാമപഞ്ചായത്തിന്റെ ഒരു ചോദ്യം കൂടെ ചോദിച്ച് എന്റെ ഭാഗത്തു നിന്നുള്ള ചോദ്യങ്ങൾ അവസാനിപ്പിക്കാം അതിലൊന്ന് ഈ കടയ്ക്കൽ ഗ്രാമപഞ്ചായത്തിന്റെ ഒരു സ്ഥിതി മിനി കളക്ഷൻ ഫെസിലിറ്റി എല്ലാ വാർഡുകളിലും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ മെറ്റീരിയൽ കളക്ഷൻ ഫെസിലിറ്റിയും റിസോഴ്സ് റിക്കവറി ഫെസിലിറ്റിയുമാണ് ഇതിന്റെ ഒരു സിങ്ക്രണൈസേഷൻ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇതെങ്ങനെ ഒരുമിച്ച് കൊണ്ടുപോകാനായിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു സംവിധാനം അവിടെ എന്താണുള്ളത് അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ഇപ്പോഴും വയബിലിറ്റി ഗ്യാപ് ഫണ്ട് കൊടുത്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് അവിടുത്തെ ഹരിതകർമ്മസേന നിലനിന്ന് പോകുന്നത് ഈ വയബിലിറ്റി ഗ്യാപ് ഫണ്ട് കൊടുക്കാതെ ഹരിതകർമ്മസേന സസ്റ്റൈനബായിട്ട് നിലനിൽക്കുന്ന ഒരു സ്ഥിതിയിലേക്ക് എത്ര നാൾ കൊണ്ട് കടയ്ക്കൽ പഞ്ചായത്തിന് വരാനായിട്ട് സാധിക്കും നമ്മള് ഹരിത കർമ്മസേനയുടെ പ്രവർത്തനം വാർഡുകളിൽ നിന്ന് കളക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നതിലാണ് ഈ മിനി എം സി എഫിൽ ഒക്കെ വെക്കുന്നത് ആ മിനി എം സി എഫിൽ നിന്നാണ് ഇത് ആർ ആർ എഫിലേക്കും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ എം സി എഫിലേക്കും കൊണ്ടെത്തിക്കുന്നത് അവിടെ സെഗ്രിഗേറ്റ് ചെയ്താണ് നമ്മളിത് ബൈൽ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ബൈൽ ചെയ്ത് നമ്മള് ക്ലീൻ കേരള കമ്പനിക്ക് കയറ്റി ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് അതുപോലെ ഷെഡ് ചെയ്ത് നമ്മുടെ പഞ്ചായത്തിൽ തന്നെ ആരെങ്കിലും ഉപയോഗിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുക അപ്പൊ അതുപോലെ ഇവര് ഇപ്പൊ ഇവർക്ക് കിട്ടുന്ന ഫണ്ടിന്റെ ഒരു കുറവെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാല് ഒരു ആറ് മാസമായിട്ട് പിന്നെ ഈ കൊറോണയുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട് നിൽക്കുമ്പോഴും അവിടെ കൊണ്ടിട്ടേക്കുന്നത് മൊത്തവും ബെയിലിങ്ങും ഷെഡിങ്ങും നടന്നുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് അപ്പൊ അവർക്ക് പിന്നെ ഒരു ഗ്യാപ് ഫണ്ട് നമ്മൾ കൊടുക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ഇത് നമുക്ക് ഇനി ഒരു 
പിന്നെ ഇപ്പം ഇപ്പോഴാണ് അവരുടെ ഒരു പ്രവർത്തനം വളരെ സജീവമായി വന്നിട്ടുള്ളത് എല്ലാ വാർഡുകളിലും ജനങ്ങൾ പൂർണ്ണമായും സഹകരിച്ചു വന്നത് ഈ കൊറോണയുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട് വന്നപ്പോഴത്തേക്ക് ജനങ്ങൾ കൂടുതൽ നമ്മുടെ എല്ലാ വീടുകളിലും പിന്നെ ഒരു സ്കോഡ് കണക്ക് പോയി കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ പറയും ഇപ്പം മാലിന്യത്തെ കുറിച്ചും മേസിനെ കുറിച്ചും ഒക്കെ പറഞ്ഞാൽ ജനങ്ങൾക്ക് ബോധ്യമാകും അത് മുഖാന്തരം ഉണ്ടാകുന്ന ഔഷധത്തിനെ കുറിച്ചിട്ട് നല്ല ബോധ്യം ജനങ്ങൾക്ക് ഉണ്ടായിട്ടില്ല ഇപ്പൊ ഞങ്ങളോട് കഴിഞ്ഞ കാലഘട്ടങ്ങളിൽ ഹരിതകർമ്മ സേനാംഗങ്ങൾ പോലും പറഞ്ഞൊരു കാര്യം കഴിഞ്ഞ കാലഘട്ടങ്ങളിൽ ചെല്ലുമ്പോൾ പൈസ തരത്തില്ല എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുള്ളവർ ഇപ്പൊ അങ്ങോട്ട് വിളിച്ചു പറയാ നിങ്ങളൊന്ന് വന്നാൽ നമ്മുടെ സാധനങ്ങൾ എടുത്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നിങ്ങൾ ആവശ്യപ്പെടുന്ന പൈസ തരാൻ നിങ്ങൾ തയ്യാറാണ് എന്നുള്ള തരത്തിലേക്ക് വന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ഈ വേസ്റ്റുകൾ പൂർണ്ണമായും ഇപ്പം പഴയതുപോലെയല്ല റോഡുകളിലോ മറ്റു ഭാഗങ്ങളോ ഒന്നും എടുക്കുന്നില്ല എല്ലാ വീടുകളിൽ കളക്ട് ചെയ്ത് വെക്കുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് നല്ല ബോധ്യമുണ്ട് അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ ഇനി തുടർന്നുള്ള ഒരു രണ്ടു മൂന്ന് മാസം കൂടെ കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ പൂർണ്ണമായും അവർക്ക് വീടുകളിൽ നിന്നുള്ള പൈസ ഉപയോഗിച്ച് തന്നെ അവർക്ക് കഴിയാൻ കഴിയും നമ്മളെ ഫണ്ടിന്റെ ആവശ്യം വരുന്നില്ല ഹരിതകർമ്മസേന ഇപ്പൊ പഞ്ചായത്തിന്റെ ആഭിമുഖ്യത്തിൽ പ്രവർത്തിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ അത് സ്വയം പ്രവർത്തിക്കുന്ന ഒരു സംവിധാനമായിട്ട് മാറ്റാനുള്ള എന്തെങ്കിലും നടപടികൾ സ്വീകരിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടോ ഇപ്പൊ ഞങ്ങൾ അങ്ങനെ ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്നത് അവരൊരു പ്രത്യേക യൂണിറ്റ് ആക്കി മാറ്റി അവരുടെ നാല് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ആക്കി മാറ്റിയിട്ടുണ്ട് നാല് ടീം ആക്കി മാറ്റിയിട്ടുണ്ട് ആ നാല് ടീമുകളുടെ നേതൃത്വത്തിലുള്ള വർക്ക് അവർ സ്വയം ഏറ്റെടുത്ത് തന്നെയാണ് നടപ്പിലാക്കുന്നത് ആ അവർ തന്നെ പ്രത്യേക നമ്മുടെ കുടുംബശ്രീയുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെടുത്തി അവർക്ക് ചില സംരംഭങ്ങൾ ഈ ഇതുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട് ഇപ്പോ പാവ നിർമ്മാണം അങ്ങനെയുള്ള ചില പരിപാടികൾ അവർക്ക് പഠിപ്പിക്കാനുള്ള ചില പദ്ധതികൾ ഇപ്പോഴത്തെ നമ്മുടെ പദ്ധതിയുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട് നമ്മൾ വെച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് പല നിർമ്മാണ പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളും പഠിപ്പിക്കുവാനുള്ള സംവിധാനങ്ങൾ നമ്മൾ ഉണ്ടാക്കി വെച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് Uh, models in the country as well no see under the harida uh, under the swachh bharat mission they have been searching they have been evolving uh, guidelines they have been evolving uh, the uh, the organizational activities and things like that but then there is no successful model on which they are able to uh, popularize their activities now the uh, country wide now there are seven very successful models that are there but of course there are certain modifications and certain improvements which will have to be made uh, one of the uh, improvements that will have to be done is the sop that as prabhjot uh, so the sabha said the the standard operating procedure of uh, uh, non biodegradable waste management in different municipalities under different conditions now we will have to consolidate that and uh, that has to be done and uh, institutional design is another aspect and how this will become part of the the system administrative setup by incorporating these sops into the municipal and uh, gram panchayat act and things like that and uh, now this all uh, are successful only if there is a behavioral change taking place in the uh, society so naturally uh, the uh, the awareness campaign will have to continue and awareness campaign will succeed only if there is good monitoring setup in, in these uh, municipalities and panchayats so naturally monitoring will have to be given a lot of importance uh, two three municipalities are resorting on the uh, it uh, systems to monitor this thing very excellent uh, models that we can learn from them uh, so such systems if could the other municipalities and panchayats could adopt that will do sir. so these are some of the excellent uh, uh, experiences that we gain certain experience result that we get so naturally we can uh, 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 further develop on this and uh, scale up these things Now we have a respected minister probably yeah. mm. two weeks back we had a webinar on block um, the governments on biodegradable waste and today we are having we just had the webinar on uh, non biodegradable waste there's a contrast uh, between the two set of presentations um while today presentations are so the um comment uh, uh, more or less the same old uh, same model while in the biodegradable there was much greater diversity 
in the technology used, uh, the organization and so on. I'm not saying there has been no difference at all. For example, Dolly Parampa and uh, Hariyar Panchayat, they used a mobile app to ensure greater accountability. You have Vagana, which have been, let's say, uh, experiment with other uh, supplementary activities for the Hariyar uh, and so on. Now, basically, the model, there are three agents. And then, the non-biodegradable model. One, you have the Karmasena, which is set up by the local government which is organized by the local government. And then at the other end, you have Clean Kerala Company, which will remove the collected waste in one form or other, processed or semi-processed as in raw form. And there will be an agency for implementation. Uh, three models have been presented here. In some of the local government, the local governments themselves are directly managing the entire enterprise. You have, like in Taliparamba, an external agency uh, taking charge. Then you have, and this is the most uh, normal model, that a registered, the Hadda Karma Sena itself constitutes a registered society and runs the enterprise. Now, what we take from the discussion I am carrying is the crucial importance of clean, clean Kerala company, uh, which I don't think has received the attention it is due to them. Suppose clean, clean Kerala company fails, the entire model will fall apart. Um, has, isn't the, in the policy making in Kerala, I am beginning to wonder whether we have paid that importance to the Clean Kerala Company, the kind of investment the government has made in it, when you compare it with the kind of investment that are made in, say, waste technology, big companies, enterprises, and so on, um, I think uh, we need to self critically review uh, our the experience of Clean Kerala Company and see how, what is the necessary investment required to make it robust. So Sothi was saying about technological improvement. I think it will be much more relevant in the case of a clean Kerala company. So I think we need to have a real look there. Um, second is the Haridha Karma Sena itself. Um, one, we should have a look at the income they're having. And when we afford to pay much higher income, ensure much higher income for them. Um, the Prasnam, not a clean Kerala company, already efficient at another legally model. Alagodu Matra, where are all good? Legal, everybody, clean Kerala company will depend on them. Other Sakar no Kendra Kari. The Mokta model of Ranjay and the Gilly, the Clean Kerala Company, efficient product. Very good. Who are the Mara, kind of waste managers, technicians, and providing other services also. But can we offer, can we provide them, ensure with a decent income? Um, I think the presentations here indicate it can. Of course, it may require a support, continued support from the um, municipality and local government. I don't think you. We should dread that at all. Suppose we are running a centralized waste management plan. 
just think of the investment recurring expenditure the local government would have had to uh, incur say in terms of transportation the waste the subsidy and so on and so forth and therefore there is nothing wrong if uh, continued support is there i don't believe in this fact that viable tech funding has to be completely ended eliminated uh, in uh, three years time while you are signing contracts for subsidizing the energy cost for indefinitely so doesn't mean you can there should be ensured a decent income now after providing decent income can you run this program as a viable enterprise that's a big challenge the presentations here indicate yes there is a possibility of doing that talipram bil undu talipram there is a private entrepreneur using this mechanism uh, providing the role of the entrepreneur uh, must be making a decent profit otherwise he wouldn't be in business uh, the, the municipality is uh, say withdrawing from the viability gap funding it runs on its own steam whatever uh, okay through supplementary income various sources is becoming a viable proposition so the income and expenditure statements made in this presentation indicate that is a viable proposition the viability will be increase not decrease would increase if we link biodegradable waste management also with this now just to pick the waste once a month on the house to pay use of few many people be dredging it see? but suppose the steam is also providing say advice on how to manage uh, bio waste uh, supplying the inoculum and so on so forth other services to the also i don't think it will grant giving a use of fee in perhaps a better use of fee higher use of fee and therefore and in the last presentation we had the uh, had the experience of kunangulam municipality where the entire bioway was uh, biodegradable waste was composted it was being sold for what 12 rupees per kg with some fortification services and um, it's going to be profitable enterprise i think you have to very seriously look why none of our local governments have not converted the compost into a business uh, enterprise they are distributing it free while there is a big demand for it so with some interventions i am certain this can be converted into viable enterprises themselves offering decent income to those who are involved and perhaps government agree for a viable tech gap funding to continue i think uh, what varma said is a very important last he said here we have evolved into a modern decentralized uh, that model uniqueness will come out only once you take into consideration what we are doing with our biodegradable waste because it is a criminal lack to deny the earth the waste back into the earth the cycle the earth to be that much poor uh, if we continuously are going to go and take away waste from the earth and therefore i think uh, the, the robustness and significance of decentralized uh, waste management in kerala uh, will become even greater when we view both these together the biodegradable waste and uh, uh, non biodegradable waste i think both the presentations convince thoroughly anybody who wants to look at numbers that this is a viable proposition and can be done 
So it's a very, I think, uh, we'll continue to work on this, try to document it further, keep track of this income and expenditure statements, um, and see how income can be enhanced. The capabilities of the Haritha Karma Sena improved um, so, so that they are not clear anymore. They are much, much, much more uh, than they are kind of, uh, they are entrepreneurs. They are also the same uh, technicians, less more than two, they are technicians. So I think it is uh, it has been a fruitful two hours that we have had together. Uh, thank you very much. And Keshav Nair. Keshav Nair and Clean Kerala Company, yeah. Thank we will you, meet. Sir. We will meet. We will continue the after broken discussion we had one evening. Sure. Okay. And you need not come back to me for money, yeah? No, we need we need your guidance. <laughs> you better come come and take the money. We will have support money you. Money will follow, sir. Your guidance <laughs> is very much required, sir. <laughs> Tumpon Panchayat in the Parayan, do you need to sum up Tumpon? Sir, Tumpon Panchayat, Parayan, Namala, I had the Vermasene with the group of light and Namala Tirichit, our swam 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 uh, green protocol, not a plaque and then a farm. My plate and glass and also mada could have never catering unit some with an old put on diet. But say other Namaki Kobodo and the Pata Namaka, Talkali and Nurti weekend. Padindu Pachatal Namaka Stiramite, our cover honorarium, Vavasta Woody, and your honorarium was still our good Sahai and Woody Nalguna the Nulla, Uru Anuba, the government in the Fatum Nundial. Um, Stiramite honorarium Yusuf will come home, but tell them. And I live on direct in the Samitana and the Lanthi Kundu over the day. Abom, the moment when they person to Parana, no good Natarche, Yaganino, Sai Campatano, and he put a real problem wound. He locked down his session. He undaki the system again. Armaravi Abo Namalani can move the Matata viability of funding of Rangi, Parasalatu and the Tutorangi. This is a serious question. This is a serious question. This um, Swadi, are you still there? Swadi. Yes, sir. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm good, sir. All good. So I say, I forgot you are in UNDP. So I say, UNDP flagged the Who is from UNDP coming? Yeah. <laughs> good. Good to see you again. Same here, sir. Take care. Hope you're well. Yeah. Yeah, after the webinar is over, I hope Jagdeep and yeah. Sima and so on will sit for five minutes. I have got a program, but just briefly. I think. Um, so now let's say let's everybody. Shall we uh, oh, sum, sum up? Uh, yeah. Yeah, please. yeah. I think please, um, please. The, 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 the final thing is uh, the, the ceremonious uh, order of thanks, uh, Honorable Minister. Our esteemed uh, local uh, self-government representatives and our guests of the day, uh, uh, 
Sri Mir Muhammad Ali Ayes, Dr. Ajay Kumar, who moderated this uh, session, Abdul Jawsoldi, Ms. Swati Singh Sambyal, of course, Yashwan Nair, and finally, uh, Dr. Seema and uh, uh, Dr. Joy, who worked very hard with our local representatives to put up such a wonderful show. I think, uh, um, I, first of all, uh, we are extremely uh, happy that last week we had to postpone for uh, on account of unexpected uh, reasons, and uh, you all turned up uh, today, many of our friends have uh, uh, many of our friends have uh, 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 logged in online. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, the presentations, as uh, the deliberations, uh, the discussions that follow revealed, uh, that was really magnificent. And uh, nonetheless, there are uh, there are uh, 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 dif difficult sports. But at the same time, from my perspective, I was actually when I was. Uh, uh, listening to the presentations and the uh, 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 the panelists' uh, 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 deliberations after that, I was wondering that the very nature of activity that you are dealing with has, in fact, uh, uh, the, your own perils are there in your success. Because ultimately, we are aiming at a waste to free, reduced to waste, so then your 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 uh, success is going to lead to your peril in the long run of course in the long run we are all dead but then in the long run we must run so what i what i see here is that the so called karma sena people until today until till then never seen a machine they have started seeing a machine so they have seen it. so what i am trying to say that there is an enormous opportunity as the minister earlier said in terms of uh, ensuring a higher income, this should be seen not as an end in itself. This should rather be seen as a first step in their further upgradation in their professional line. So you should be diversifying into further processing. Value addition, of course, you are value adding now from waste. Why not think in terms of diversifying from adding value from waste to some other things? So I think uh, I'm sure these are things which you, the local representatives, are in Kerala who are intelligent enough. You have done so much. I'm sure you will reflect on all these things. And I thank on behalf all of you on behalf of Haritha Kerala Mission, uh, Kila and Gift for the wonderful show that you have made, the hard work that you are doing in the field. I'm sure this is going to be a turn of the model uh, for others to follow. And uh, I conclude by announcing that on the next week, Saturday next at 2.30 p.m., we will meet again with another issue. We will be talking about uh, reduced waste through behavioral change, uh, the green protocol experience of local self-government. Let us meet next week, uh, next Saturday at 2.30 p.m. again. Thank you once again. See. Simon, um, I don't want to go to the room. Okay.